I went into a continuous loop in live. Don't even know why that even happened. But like I said, technical issues in the morning. That's what goes on. All right. First, my name is Kenneth Bird. Company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I was trying to switch over to my data plan, which my Wi-Fi works a little better in the basement until the other booster gets here. And for some reason, it got stuck in a continuous loop of trying to load the live. All right. So. We're going to be doing some things today, warning you before you go out and spend your money for a projection screen setup or projector screen, screen paints, screen paints we're doing today. Um, you might want to watch this video first. Now, I said before that the uh, main, let me see what, get this, hold on, we got to, there we go. Yeah, we've been having some problems. We want to go in and con contact Comcast to get this fixed. I pay the money. I want to get my make sure my service is working. All right, so let me go over here and see what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna get a high powered booster for down here in the basement. I mean, a really good one. I got one upstairs, but apparently it's not traveling down here. So we'll pick that up today, get the basement set up, because I can't record down here if we're not picking up. All right, and I'm testing my connection over here with the PS4. Now, the reason why I said is because the projection screen is going to be the main uh, uh, the main thing you're going to need the most to make that projector work. Without that um, main screen being able to do what it's supposed to do, pull contrast, color, white levels, all that good stuff, your projector's worth nothing at the end of the day. And I've seen people have like two million to one very high-end contrast projectors, and because they're producing this on a gray screen or a white screen, they have issues. They're not pulling up those contrast levels. This will also to change your environment too dramatically too also too. As I said we're going to be doing some demonstrations showing you on white screens or light gray screen paints on how, and either other gray screen paints on how basically when they would hit something, you would have all this white light projecting throughout the entire environment. There we go. Got that fixed. Right, let me get back to what I was doing over here. All right. There we go. I'm over there. My PS4. I'm over here figuring out my internet went to a loop and then the PS4 got a little buggy on me. So now we're back in business. Everything's good to go. All right. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit as we're talking. We don't need it this loud. Right, there we go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a paint on demonstration. Paint on demonstration. We have uh, our new stand right here. This is our new stand if you haven't seen it. So that's our new stand over there to allow me to bend it over and be able to see uh, what's going on, on the screen. So let's move this over here to the new stand. This is great. I got money a long time ago. I was supposed to be getting one of these a long time ago, and I kept putting it off. There we go, that's a better view right there. Perfect, 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 perfect. And that's gonna allow me to allow you to see right up on top of the screen when we paint them. All right, and as you can see in this demonstration, we're not gonna have to go through any form of uh, of uh, four hour applications, complicated, actu um, um, or actually what we're doing is we're just painting just basically black paint today. So we're gonna be doing this demonstration. We have the Phantom technology we have here. And this container right here, this is Phantom right here. And then over here, we have everyday black paint. So one of the tests we like to do against the Phantoms is we like to show that at the end of the day, they don't match black paint, black fabric, t-shirts, whatever. We can throw this against the screen, the screen will produce the highest white level. Any black surface is gonna produce a contrast level, very easy to do. But the problem is they're not gonna, they're gonna have a very hard, difficult time picking up colors, picking up contrast levels, sorry, not kind of picking up white levels and colors. That's one of the things they're gonna fall into. Now, these are demonstrations that we have requested for other individuals to do at the end of the day, and these tests were never ever done. Now, at the end of the day, you should be to back your product to see whether or not your product is equal to black and white paint, which we have here. We have some black paint, we have some white paint here in this container right here. There. So we're going to make several screen paints with this right here. And this we're using is, uh, we're using the Ultra, what's this? Ultra Interior. So 
some white paint. What white paint are we using for this one? We're kind of pretty good. Right, chance on this one. Curious. No, no, it doesn't say. So that's what we got. It's some ultra white paints right here. And we got some black paint here. We got black paint here over here. We're going to paint this screen. We got the stand set up so you can see the bird's eye view over top of the screen. The paint is all black. It's the biggest sample sheet we're going to paint this black. We're going to paint this with everyday black paint. We're going to throw this against the technology we have over here, which is our phantom technology, showing you we can back our products up again and again and again and again and again. When the others haven't done it yet. Where are the test demonstrations, people? Come on now. We're already up to about 15 or 16 now so far. So, as I said before, we have we contacted him directly, Crow 1176. Contacted him directly on his website. Had a chat with him. Even though it was a bit adolescent, but we did have a conversation with him. And in the conversation, I sent him multiple links to where he can make the digital one crystal screen paint right here. And put this against this product to see if they're the same thing. At the end of the day, this is black and white paint. This is a seven-year-old product. Or uh, the screen paints we were able to make using the deleted video. Now, we had a deleted video. We have a deleted video from Crow 1176 shows him making a black and white product such like this. Making a black and white product with uh, two tablespoons of black paint. Okay, we don't need, we're not we're measuring it. We're just throwing stuff together. We can throw stuff together and still match it. And we were able to match the product with no problem whatsoever using the tutorial video itself. Let me see. Do we have those over here? What do we have over here? We have the any sample areas right here. Here we go. This is what we have. All right. So these are our sample sheets right here. Now we have the unboxing videos. Do you care to see any unboxing videos that we have from Crow's products? I will post all that below. Tape is sticking quite well. Right here. And here, these are the shades that we have. One's a personal mix, one is a Metallica mix. So right there we have the personal mix here. Metallica, that's why we have to order more personal mix because we're running out of it. We don't have any left at the end of the day, to tell you the truth, honestly. And we need to do the unboxing in order to do that properly. So that's what we're waiting on. We're gonna be placing orders for all that soon. We just can't tell when we're doing this because he will be on high alert looking for, for certain items that may come across on his order form that may show these particular products even to cancel them from the door. So if you're a customer trying to get this, I don't know why you would, but if you're a customer trying to get this at the end of the day, it's gonna be hard because he's gonna put you through a bit of a ridicule and some screening just to make sure it doesn't come here. Now, as I said before, you have options. You can make the digital one crystal screen paint we have here. That's a product we've had for around seven years. Way back, maybe way past that. We, we've had it, uh, it dates back to around, uh, wow, well, 2012. It was just way back. So we've had this for a while. You can go to the website, check out the weight that this product had. This product actually had a 10 year global contract attached to it. We have a Facebook form where, well, they have a Facebook form showing up the product itself. And on top of that, you get a chance to check out the beta testers, check out the ingredients and stuff like that. You can make that product yourself. We get that to you for free. This is one of our old products we made back in the day when we first got started. But to show you that they, they match with no problem whatsoever. All right, now what we're going to do is here in this demonstration, we're going to first paint this surface black. All right, so let me get my camera up here, here first. And we're going to paint this one too. This one's going to dry a little faster than that one. We're going to put this against our larger screen over there. That's going to go against our phantom today. Now, just to show you real quick before we do this, we have to do a pour out. Make sure we got everything here for this pour out. One of the things that we do request when you're doing tests on black screens, something that I have not seen done yet on so-called products that are supposed to be black screen paint mixes that have yet to see any of the pour-out demonstrations or contrast test, not contrast test, but uh, black paint versus their product test demonstrations. This is what Jamie and Parte, you both have black screen paints. This is how it must be done. I've sent over my links to both of you, actually only to one of them. Now this right here is the black paint. This right here is our technology here. 
or phantom. There's the phantom right there. I told you phantoms are four times darker than the phoenix. That's what you have to do. To show that both of the screen paints are not one that's not gray, because some people will try to do a demonstration where the screen actually won't be black. It'll be like a dark, dark gray, like that Dynasty uh, paint, whatever that is. That's a dark gray. That's not black. So you know the difference. This is what it has to look like when you do the pour out. They have to look exactly the same. See what I mean? That's why we request a pour out, because we have people that will fake their demonstrations and try to make a gunmetal screen, like a very dark screen, a dark gray screen, and pass it off as a black screen. Put you in the new, the new stand that we got today. So, that's one of the things we're going to request. Now, keep in mind, we've requested these tests from Crow um, four weeks ago. So it's been a month and some change. He hasn't done any of these tests at all, period. There's our black paint. This is why I'm telling you before you waste the money on buying a product at the end of the day, number one, that you can actually make yourself, or it's not what they say it is because they can't back it up through their tests. Now, if you notice too, uh, this is everyday paint. Like I said, black paint. Uh, and, the de and the instructions that we read through Partey's instruction, his product takes somewhere between seven to five to seven days to dry. And then you got to paint this line across the screen and all this. No, you know, we're not doing that here. We're going to paint the screen. This is everyday paint. If everyday paint can go on this smoothly, this easy, then how come it's, it's so complicated to paint that product? I mean, literally, if you had to go through and the instructions that he had to go through to paint an everyday wall, you think you'd be painting your house right now? Nope. Because if you're paying a contractor by the hour, guess what, buddy boy? It's going to cost you some money. They got to paint that whole house like that. As I said before, we don't need to have this product over here. His basic instructional video alone, that's all we need. So today we're going to do a demonstration. We're going to take his video, we're going to post it onto the site, showing you what, in Goose Screen, there's another company, to Goose Screen, to show you exactly how long it's required to paint a screen from the others. And we're going to paint a screen in no time at all. Boom. As a matter of fact, I have time to blast through that screen real quick, paint and dry, and do the demonstration of why we can watch something off at the same time with the certified laying against it at the same time. So let's see how long it takes to paint our technology compared to painting Partays. So we're going to do that on a side by side. That's going to be on the website. We can go and check it out. I told you, I don't even need, at the end of the day, I don't even need your product. Your instructions alone on your product destroys your product. And then we'll just take some everyday mixes, mix it together, see how fast that takes the paint to the screen. No time at all. Now you know, you should know by now about Mr. Bird. Naysayers, one thing you gotta know about Mr. Bird. If I put on a big demonstration about someone's product, you sure know look, there's something coming the next day, and it's going to be pretty heavy. You should know that by now. Let's see at the end of the day, if this is worth your time on painting this stuff on your screen. Now, Crow advised that you paint everyday black paint. Dynasty is actually not black. Dynasty is actually a dark gray. Very, very, very dark gray. This is actually black. Our screens aren't dark gray, they're actually black. So if you're going to be trying to do a phantom, you need an actual black screen, not a gray screen.
done. This is just regular paint, and I'm done. No line across the middle of the screen. I started from A to B. You no, know, starting from the right to the left or the center to the right. At one point, I thought I was going to be playing a hopscotch game. Let's do some cardboard too. I read it. I need that cardboard sample sheet over here. I need this for basically some demonstrations outside on our technology. Now, for you individuals that are developing, trying to develop black paints, this is what you're going to have to do. Now, we sent Crow a slew of freaking test demonstrations under our screens. Like I said, and that day and that time when we sent all that information over him, information for the website, everything he needed to do to do the uh, demonstration, and if none of those demonstrations were done, if he did a video with anything else besides those demonstrations, put your money back in your pocket, go get the digital one crystal screen paint, or go make the screen paint from the fellow who made it on YouTube, he posted his too also too, or just make any one of those black and white mixes we made using his tutorial video. Save your money. Now, one of the things about black screen, screen paints, well, what I've heard from other people who actually make them, other companies who make these black products, um, is the fact that black screens have a very difficult time pulling up white levels in well-lit environments because it's hard enough for the screen already to be to produce that uh, heavy, heavy white level to begin a white level to begin with. If they're dealing with a screen that's going to be black, blah 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 blah. This is why we do demonstrations outside on black screens. That's one of the things, their theory, that's their theory when they make these uh, blacker paints, that that's their theory that the reason why they do a lot of the demonstrations in the dark because this would give the screen a better vantage point of pulling a higher white level because the screen is black. Again, blah, 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 blah. All right, we got over here. We're going to be playing with the gamer for a little bit. And I need to... We don't have anything here to see. Not a thing. Here we go. Over here. Oh, that's Gamer over there playing around. That's the Gamer having the ball. <laughs> hey, what happened to my freaking Pac Man? The freak is this craziness? Okay, I'm about to say. I love this. As a matter of fact, I was facing Pac Man. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm going to have some people out there who do black screen paints and they're going to say, well, Ken, that's not fair because your lights are on and you know those screens are going to have an issue trying to generate that uh, white light, especially if the screen's dark. Well, we'll take the lights out for you. I'm a fair person. So they're going to do the same thing. Now, keep in mind, not only you have to do black paint, but you have to do black fabric and others, anything you could possibly think of that a customer may try against your screen or a company. You're going to have to do those demonstrations. Can't just go up there and show a screen and go, voila, it's done. No, you got to do the whole thing. So there we go. I just did my own screen. Did my own screen.
like that beat. It reminds me of the beat. Ever watch my Robocop where they were dancing in the club and the guy hit the guy and the gun flew up in the air and the guy was dancing, caught the gun, he was dancing with the gun? Kind of reminds me of that episode. Clarence Parker, how would it be? All right, so while we got that popping off in the corner, this is drying at the same time. Got a whole lot going on here, don't we? Let's get over here to these gray screen paint products. What are you actually really getting at the end of the day? Are you actually getting a real high performance screen or are you just getting black and white paint? Oh, keep in mind, we gave them plenty of time to do this. We even sent the links directly to Crow 1176, chatted with them in the stream, and if he hasn't done the demonstrations, that week right there, well, there's no excuses behind that. When he can say, well, he did the video, but he unblocked from his channel. Nope, you're my number one subscriber. Um, you could say, um, um, I, I wasn't able to get on the channel or just any other. We have multiple excuses. He didn't email me. We contacted you directly through a live stream chat and sent over all the links. Now, in that conversation, he kept repeating over and over and over again about how can we ship it to him? Can we ship it to him? Can we ship it to him? Well, here's the thing. We don't have to ship something to you if the ingredients is right there. You know, much like you can buy books or you can download them. You can buy the book and go to the library or Nova Books, wherever you want, if there's still an opening, and buy the book. Or you can download the entire book and actually read it from your cell phone, or they got the ones that the, I have it upstairs where they'll basically talk at the night before Christmas and on that, everything on there, you know? So that you can do. So you don't have to go in, you don't have to have it send it to you. We can actually just put post the ingredients. And that's why the website was built. Now mind you, at the time, we didn't have the website built. We just had them on individual videos here and there. He could even say, well, it's hard for me to find because you got so many videos to figure out which one's which. Now we have a website that you can directly go to and get that information. No excuses why this couldn't have been done. All right, we want to take what black paint we have left in this right here, this container. And we're going to, uh, oh, just to let you know. So this is the black paint we tested against our screen. One of them. This is actually one tablespoon of white paint. See the difference between that and that when you put that one tablespoon in? See, we tested all these against our screen. We made these live on camera, posted them. That's why we have them over here. These ones we made live against our own product. Let's see what we got here. So these are our test paints that we made for ourselves to put against our own product. We did these live on camera. We made every last one of these, posted the ingredients, and put them against our screen. Well, actually, this shouldn't be here. This is another product. And posted against our screen. So we have right here, we see what's labeled right there, five tablespoons of white, three tablespoons of white, and this one here is posted at one tablespoon. So we've made each one darker, a little darker, lighter, stuff like that. Put against our own product to see if anybody could match our product at the end of the day. This is what we've requested for Crow 1176 to do to make multiple firms of gray screen paint products. Now, what are we going to make today? We're just make a, we can make a wild mix. We make the mega mix, wild mix, crazy mix, insane mix. What are we going to mix together? Let's see. Let's get these out of the way because they're not needed over here. This is all gray screen paints now. We're waiting for our screen to dry. That camera paint's beautiful, ain't it? We're gonna be talking about that sooner or later. We're just gonna get past this right here. We got some more to do on this right here. I'm not done with this yet. Well, actually, I can do both. I just wanna do one video on that and this one video on this one, the other one. All right, let's make some mixtures together. What do we got? All right, you ready for this? All right, we got, it uh, doesn't make a difference when it comes to the paint, black paint. Black paint is black paint at the end of the day. That's what it is. Doesn't make a difference on the white until you have to have a certain kind for his paint. Blah, 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 blah. If, if he's coming out there making those accusations, why well, have to have a certain kind of this and a certain kind of that? Well, if that's the case, Skippy, guess what you need to do? You need to get online, make those products live, use those different forms of products that may not be yours and show a difference. You can't show a difference at the end of the day of your product not being black and white paint. Then you really can't say anything about your product being different because you can't back up the test. You can't even make anything new. 
Because anything you make new, can it pass the black and white paint test? We got demonstrations from this technology, black technology going back to the sevens, doing black and white, doing our black paint versus our product from, from the sevens, mind you. All right, way before the twelves, way before the twelves. Got some black paint here. This is the reason why I tell you that anytime that, I have an opener here for this. Anytime that you see somebody buying paint, they're never going to have these two side by side. It is pointless. I'm only going to need a little bit of this, but I'm going to need all of that. Now, if I'm making a gallon of this, I'm going to need, the best way if you're going to do a gallon, if you're going to cut it in half, just do half a quart of black paint, put it in there, boom, done. That's it. You measure by quarts. That's what you do. Don't do it by tablespoons. It'll take you freaking forever to do it. So, that's why when I told you I saw under his table, he had that cord sitting there. I saw that's his product right there he's making. Because nobody in their right mind is going to buy a gallon of this. There's too much black paint. You're only going to be putting a little bit in this. This is a toner. It's always used for. Unless you're going to do a reversal where this is going to become the main base, like the UB. And this is going to become the toner. But then you wouldn't have this in either at a gallon either. You had this as a cord. It's a waste of money. For money, at the end of the day, if you're selling this product, you want to make sure that your overhead is going to be as less as possible so that way you can bring more money back to your table and still produce a good product. All right? No point in buying all this that you're going to have a big order coming through. All right, let me see what we're going to do here. We just do a, do a mix in there, but then we just mix some stuff around. That's basically what we're going to do. So this is what we're going to do. Let me drop the camera down a little lower for you guys to see what's going on on the table. All right. I should have bought a chef hat for this. No, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to... I can't do Julius Child. I don't get the voice for it. All right. Let's go mix some of this. And here's some black paint. We're going to throw some of this in here like this. Ooh, man, that's this. So, okay, right here I showed you. Separation. Automatically going to do that from the door. It's going to separate automatically from the door. Oh, we're going to mix some water in some of these. Oh, I forgot to show you. I didn't show you that demonstration, did I? Well, Parte, we made his paint. And we put the we had to put the grease into it. Yeah, I'll show you that one right there. It's black. It's just why I told you black. This one we got. We got three of these. Uh, two of these at Lowe's. We got the darkest ones that they had. We got this one. And we got another one. We did both of those tests, by the way. For someone said, "Well, you didn't, you didn't do both of it. You didn't paint both." Yeah, we did it already. We bought that, painted both of them on multiple sheets, multiple surface sheets, and we painted this one, this version of black paint too. And we put them all against the screen at the same time, and we put the fabric at the same time. We did that already. Been there, done it. So don't even add it in. They're like, "Well, what about?" No, we did it already. Already been there and done. That's why we have all the links up there. Let's get this started. Now we're gonna take this paint right here. We're gonna mix it into here. Let me show you different ones we're gonna be doing. Um, and different lighter mixes, but on reversals, but some reversals too. Let me get some more containers, but some reversals today too. I'll show you that. Now the line we use as parte, we're talking about still water. It's supposed to cause some reaction. Again. Blah, 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 blah. Unless you can back that up of showing the difference between a product without the still water and one with the still water, you have to be the back it up. You just can't run your mouth for the sake of running it. That's not going to work. You know why people put water in paint? They're thinning it out to actually get more out of it. So a contractor, if he's going to do you dirty, he's basically going to add more water to the paint. That's less paint you got to buy. Paint can get expensive. Like I said, I painted a nursery for a friend of mine I paid $50 a gallon for it painted. And she's like, you pay $50? Yes, because number one, it's going to be a one coat application because I don't have to go back over it again because the original paint's pushing through. Number two, I don't have to prime anything because it has it all built in one. It's got stain blocker, the whole nine yards, perfect for a kid's room. And then on top of that, you're talking about drying time. And then you're talking about the, um, the, uh, the, the texture and basically having that bright, vivid, beautiful color. It's the difference between cheap paint and actually good paint. And you will know cheap paint when you see it. You're like, good grace, it's dull. It'll be the dullest colors you've ever seen in your entire life. Want that rich, vivid, beautiful color like a professional did it? Spend 50, 60 bucks for one of those containers and you'll see what happens. All right, so we're gonna make some darker mixes today. Darker mixes, like I said, are the opposite. First, let's make the lighter one. Let's drop this in here. 
We're not even going to measure. We don't have to measure. Oh, by the way, now, you want to see something interesting? I'll show you something. This is a cutout. This is where they tell you how to use these. When I told you how they make they get darker, um, darker, uh, a gray mix. This is black, but it's actually a different version of black. It's kind of a gray. See the difference now when I poured it in? Oh, you didn't see that, did you? Yeah. We know all the tricks, all of them. You can buy that over at Lowe's. It appears to be black, but it's act it is black, but it's kind of a different shade of black. This is what the dynasty was. That's why when I was looking at your pants, your pants and shorts were black and the paint wasn't. The handle that you rolled it on was black and the paint wasn't. I leave things out sometimes in demonstrations for later on so they can sink in or marinate a little bit and then we'll come back and go, bam, yeah, we know how you did it already from the door. The product you showed was supposed to be our product? Yeah, that was basically Dynasty. Dynasty, at the end of the day, is not technically black. It's actually still considered in the category of a charcoal gray. You see that black paint swimming around my screen right there? That paint right there? That right there is black paint, actual black paint but they got these different versions that they make that are called this is black but it's not this is what you got so you already thought of that the minute you went down to go pick up the paint let me get this right here because this is going to come up much better and my screen's maybe going to be the ability to blend in it better than fighting with one of these right here that actually dark so see that right there crow yeah i think people are stupid or born yesterday come on man and there's the screen dry right there Man, oh, this is gonna hurt. This is definitely gonna hurt. You're not gonna like this demonstration, but it needs to be done anyway because at the end of the day, you should have done this a long time ago. Now, you notice how I did my screen first, right? All right, then. All right, so usually what they'll do is they'll get like a charcoal gray screen like this. Now, like I said, looking at Partez paint, if you look at this carefully, right, I would have to put in probably about a couple of tablespoons of black white paint into that to actually get his product in the Frankenstein at the same time. that container it's right here somewhere now that's why I said that in the demonstration when he was rolling that out I sat there and said that the paint that we use in our test demonstrations is literally darker than the product he's claiming that that's supposed to be a phantom nobody that's not a phantom I told you phantoms are black 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 we asked you at the end of the day to do the demonstration next to black paint you can't do that because your product is actually black paint that's what we just poured out a few minutes ago that's what we got from that container right there there's our product right there sorry about that get all this stuff we got a messy table going on right now Ugh. Stop faking your demonstrations, man. Pathetic, man. You don't do that's why I say you would never see this being broken down in detail on any of its channels. Same sneaky nonsense. Goes out there, takes the same little tiny sample sheet, rolls whatever crap on top of it, and then does its demonstrations from there. Same thing. It's like watching the same thing over and over and over again with him. You and Part 10, them little tiny rollers. All right. So we're just going to use this right here, pour this in here. Let's throw some white into this. All right. Now, mind you, we're not measuring any of this. We're just throwing it in. If you try to make this thing like it's so, it's so complicated, it's not. Uh, I don't want to mess up my table, which is going to get jacked up anyway, but whatever. This is not measuring anything. This is me just throwing something together. Now, want you to look at that.
Now this right here would match that one. It'll blend this one, but it'll match that one. And that's why he doesn't want his products coming down here because he can't back it up. And I told him, if you know how phantoms are designed, make the ingredients. I'll post it against my product live. That's what I said, right? How many times did I say that? What did he do? Oh, the phantom. We got the phantom coming. He brings out some gray paint that's not even black. His literally his cargo shorts were darker than the paint he was applying. But to you, now not my customers. I'm talking strictly to you, you, you crow boys. This is this is videos for you guys more than anything else. Because you're the ones that got suckered into buying this stuff. Got snake oil. That's what you did. It's kind of like the wild wild west. You know, you guys were all sitting around at the watering hole. You know, talking about this, talking about that, some Perry dogs or whatever that you probably had to hunt down and kill was going after your cattle. And here comes Crow's Mixes coming through with his wagon. Talking about his paints can actually cure everything. They're the magical elixir of, of, of the great Egyptians. You know, it brings back some, some, uh, some history on it, some fake history on it. And you guys all bright-eyed, bushy tail, slobbering at the mouth like Homer with a donut. Go buy it. You know what's sad? Your projector is probably far better than this right here, and your, your screen looks like crap at the end of the day. So there we go. Very easy to make. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Done. That's it. We're done. That fast easy to make this stuff all day long. I know what I'm doing here. Didn't even have to freaking measure. Oh! Isn't that shocking? Didn't even have to measure it. Just threw it together. I told you from the door. Now, what is he going to do? Is he going to get on camera, start whining and crying and complain about, oh, no, that's... Then back it up. But I didn't get the links. Yes, you did. You got the links. Now, what are we going to call this one? We're going to call this... I don't know what we're going to call this, to tell you the truth. Let me get my roller washed out for that one right there. We're gonna paint another screen and people, be patient. We're not done yet, we got a lot to do today. Can I pad this bar? I should pad it. Let's see if it's a screen. Now we're gonna have to pad it, we're good. Painted them enough times, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to paint this surface right here. We're going to paint over this. We can always do another one of the splatter screens. Easy to do. We're going to do another one. We're just going to paint over the top of this again. So let's grab this mixture we have right here. I don't know what kind of name we're going to give it yet. We're going to give it a name. Um, I don't know. Well, let me show you guys some sizes. I'm going to play my game over here. My game over here is popping. Now, 
Let's see if we can come close to making part taste product today. So you can match it from the screen. Now, if I'm wrong, like I said, try to match it. Do a little side by side. But mainly, mainly we're gonna do a demonstration on how fast it takes to paint one of our screens compared to it takes one of yours. Wanna take a tutorial video? I'm gonna stick it up on my website. I have one on your side, then I have mine. It'll be the shortest video you've ever watched in your entire life. Don't even bother popping popcorn. Just grab whatever snacks you got in your pocket, enjoy that. All right, we need that right there. I need another one, two more of these right here. We need to set this up for the screen. We're going to put it over here. Get this done. Yeah, we're going to have to get a real, a real, real mega booster in this bad boy, so that way we don't have to worry about the video getting shocked or anything. Uh, screen for this one right here. I remember somebody called us a cookie cutter screen. Did you see the size of his screen compared to the screen I got here? Oh, what happened to the... T oh, I forgot. We're using this. This is our dark technology right here. It's gray. It's not going to pick up. It washed out. I didn't mean to do this on purpose. I'm just seeing if the screen's going to stand here. This just happened to pop up. <gasps> I'm sorry. Let's go back and put that back. My fault. My bad. Sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm ball here today. So what's the excuse? What is the excuse at the end of the day? We sent you all the information that you needed to get the job done. What's the excuse why it's not done already? No excuses, no excuses. Let me see, we don't need that tape. We need this right here. I need the zoom going here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Can I get the zoom, zoom, zoom? We're going back out. All right. We're going back out again. We need to go in, go in, go in. I got to do it on the splatter screen because I need the splatter screen to work. Okay. See how horrible that screen paint is? Doesn't even pick up at all, period. How are you playing with this stuff on gaming at the beginning of the end of the day? We're on a 720p projector on the PS4 right now. That's literally how much of your image that you're missing when you use a gray screen paint product. Yeah, okay, we gotta repaint this screen because I'm gonna do some demonstrations of this today. And we're in the max out zone at that. That's what gray screen paints do. When your Cinemax gets down here, this is what I'm gonna do to it. Since you claim it can pull contrast levels equal to a black screen. We'll see. We'll put it through the test. Partay, you're lucky. Your shopping carts are locked. You really are lucky. Because your product got down here, I would test every single theory that you talked about in your product. How you can paint an extra fifth coat on it to make the screen brighter. That would produce a higher gain. But yet you didn't have that in the instructional video. Or structure instructions that you wrote down. You missed a few instructions in there to begin with. Oh, we gotta get pictures of this right here. And mind you, my projector is 4,000 lumens. It's a venue, an old venue projector. As Crow said, old venue projectors suck. No, they don't suck, your product sucks at the end of the day. That's why I said, be careful about these screen paint products because at the end of the day, you spend all this money for a good projector, get home, and your screen is crap. This is how much you're missing. All right, we've got to paint over that. Oh, I don't really want to paint on this. That's a really nice, isn't that a right nice demonstration right there? Look at that. I can walk into any place that you put a screen at, and all I would have to do is take my roller and just go, and that's it. That's all I'd have to do. I only got to paint the whole screen. And I guarantee at the end of the day, your customer will become my customer. 
Imagine if you had this painted up in your establishment. You just got finished putting this product down there. And I come in there with a paint roller, like, what do you got to show me? Nothing. Check this out. Ugh, right down the side of your screen. I can just take a running start, and I can just throw paint against the screen. I can put it in a paintball gun and just pop, 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 pop across the screen. And it still would perform better than your product. This was just splattered across the screen. That's why you call them splatter screens. We don't need to paint it in professionally. Just throw it against the screen and show the reaction. And I guarantee in the day, you lose a customer. All right, let's make our mixes over here. We'll make our mixes, mixes, mixes. See the difference between when I do demonstrations, I show outstanding results. The eye opener, at the end of the day. Because mind, you're going to be painting this to your home theater set up. And at the end of the day, you're going to spend all this money for this projector. You're going to do your research and make sure you get the right stuff. Go to AVF Forms, go to different form sites, research, 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 just to get it home and only get 50% of what you paid for. Like I said, you go to the projection store to go buy your projector and they'll be like, look, here's the deal. I'm going to take all your money. I'm going to cut this unit in half and you just take that part right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take the part with the 50,000 to one or million to one contrast. You're not going to need that. Don't worry about it. I'll take that. You just take this. All right, so we're going to paint over this right here. You like my new my new stand? Oh, yes. We're going to be using this to do the demonstration against how fast it takes for us to paint one of our screen versus partees. All right, we got to paint over this. You know what? Uh, this is to begin with. If you're curious what screen paint this is, we did the demonstration on. This is a Phantom. Yeah, it's a Phantom. This is the screen that's supposed to come up so dark you can't see it on the Crow standard. On the Crow, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Professional opinion. We've got to add that in there real quick. Me in the morning, people, this is how I am. I like to get up, I like to get it done. We're not going to do the whole line across the screen. I mean, really seriously, like, why? Why? What you want to do is you want to take an even application and you put that across the screen. Like literally doing your demonstrations on painting your screen in, it's kind of like in the paint that you see, it's going to make a difference if it's, and you say, well, the paint's not mixed. No, it doesn't make a difference. That's not going to, it's going to all blend in. Watch. You know, during your demonstration, you might just say, look, when you get done paragraph one and two, I want you to drive out in the middle of Yellowstone Park and juggle four squirrels for five hours. This is going to cause your screen to set evenly. You could have pretty much said that at the end of the video. And I'm pretty sure people would have I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, you probably would have thought you got away with it. Let me see. We need the roller. Where's the roller at? Let's just try it out. We need to wash it out and dry it out. Every time you do this, you gotta wash that roller out, people. Every single time, you don't want that cross contamination. All right, let's see what we got here. Ugh. And we got a little darker one than than the usual paint we got here. This is a little darker. Oh, come on, quite nice. Yeah, it's got a nice one. I like that music in the background. <coughs> mm. We can make plenty of this. It doesn't make a difference. At the end of the day, if you want proper measurements for this, four tablespoons, four to five. You can put seven if you want it a little darker, but it's mostly in the range of four to five. Four being the minimum, Five being just a little bit near the edge. Seven if you really want to max don't have a little fun with it. That's all. So that range. I wouldn't go any farther than that. That's basically about it. And Parte, doesn't this look a lot like your product right now? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks exactly like your product, doesn't it? I think I had you in mind when I was making this? No, nah, not really. I was just throwing some stuff together. Whee! Smells like bubble gum. Now 
Now I wonder, because mind you, like I said, they had 10 days to process the orders and send them out to me as we requested. We didn't want money, we just wanted the product. But you forfeit it before 10 days. You had plenty enough time. You could have sat there and watched a TV show for three days and did whatever you wanted to do, did a couple of videos and still had the product out on time. You forfeited it. Yes, you did. <sighs> Which means at the end of the day, you didn't want your product coming here because you knew that it wasn't going to work. So that's still a cancel at the end of the day. It's just even a worse cancel because PayPal basically had to step in and push it up for you and you still couldn't deliver. So that shows you at the end of the day, people. I wouldn't even trust them if you place the order. You might have to file a complaint right from the door. And they still might not even give it to you. Now, you know why his shopping cart is going to remain locked? Not just for me. Now, because of the curiosity that sparked. Remember I told you about the curiosity theory? Because now he has to fear if not just me, somebody else is going to do test his product. Started a firestorm, just like Crow. Sooner or later, you're gonna have people matter. We should have a contest. I think I might put a contest. We might give out something for that. So you can come the closer to matching this mix with black and white paint using his own tutorial video. They have to use a tutorial video to do it. Only. And if your customers have to come on in and do that for you, well, you know, that's not gonna be good. Now, as to the theory about the whole screen dipping in, guess what? The screen's going to dip. It's material. Guess what? When it dries, it's going to dry stiffer, and it's going to dry flatter. That's what's going to happen. That's what happens when you put wet paint on something, and it dries, it dries a little stiffer. We're just leaving that for, for part take. Part take, for some reason, came up with that dumb theory. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, Parte, guess what? This, look a heck, this looks a heck of a lot like your screen painting, your demonstration, it does. I bet you don't have to, uh, whatever. It's polarized? No, it's not polarized. It's not even Polaroid. All right, let's put this up, wash this out. We got some more stuff we're gonna make. And again, all right, let's see. Right, this is going to be a long segment, just to let you know, people. Let's see what we got over here. I'm going to call this the floor. This is going to be the paint cam. From now on, that's the paint cam. I'm going to put a sign next to it. That's the paint cam. I'm going to get a couple more of those. Let's strap up. This screen paint mix we have here, it looks just like your product. You know what could alter it? If I add in just a couple more teaspoons, like four, we put in about five tablespoons of black paint into that, it would land this right here, this exact same color. Between, I say, if I wanted to tweak it a little bit, between somewhere between seven and eight, I would nail it correctly. But this would be close enough to match your screen with no problem because, as I just said, it's almost the same color as the walls you have in your theater room. And I didn't have to measure to put this together. I just threw it together. Now let's get the screen dry. There you go. That's my technology phantom with black paint laying against it on a massive, huge sheet. There's my white levels on my technology versus the black paint. Yeah. 
Let's get back to this one over here. Now we're waiting for it to dry. Let's make a couple more mixes, right? You excited? Let's make some more mixes? Okay. What are we going to do now? Let's do a reversal. We haven't done reversal. I've only done one reversal so far. Let's see if we can do some of these grayer mixes that they claim are supposed to do this, that, and the other. Let's make a few of those. Uh, let's start off with, I'm going to do some measurements on these. I want to do some proper measurements for you. I'm going to throw some stuff together. We'll do some proper measurements for you. We're going to need some tablespoon or something in here to do this. Uh, do you have anything here? Can you measure this all out with? Let me see. We got these two right here. This right here, we have our product right there. This is our other one we got right here. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call these splashes. Splashes is basically stuff we just throw together. That's all. It's a splash mix. That's what we're gonna call it, a splash mix. So we're gonna take our splash mix. We'll stick that over there for right now. Um, let me see. Let's do some reversals. We need to measure for reversal at the end of the day. Really don't have to measure them. Just throw that together. Precise about it. If you wanna be precise about it, the frustration right now cutting through the roof. But as I said before, I sent you the links. Should have had these tests done by now. There's no excuse for whatsoever. I gotta come and do your job for you. Here we go, tablespoon, right? I know I have one sitting around here somewhere. All right, let's go. Um, let's see, we're gonna do a reversal. Now in this one, we're basically gonna do the black paint as a um as the main base. This is when you make them darker. The reason why they do them this way, I don't know if they do it or not, but the reason why I would do it this way, because you're gonna waste a ton of paint trying to turn a white base to, to dark. It's better if you do it the other way around. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically, let me see. Let's fill this one all the way up. Not much in there. There we go. So I'll put a white paint so how dark that is, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna put, a, um, let's see if we start off with, let me see. <sighs> I'm just, just thinking here, and judging by the color of this, it's a little, it was darker, we put in more, we gotta put in light. Let's just put in about um, two. Let's see what we get with two. Two of them in here, there we go. Just like done in his demonstration, we're doing a reversal. We'll put one. And then we're gonna put two in here. That's it. Now, the reason why you start off with two, and I tell you why, because when you're adjust, this is the adjuster. You start off with two. Now you want to start off with one, and you can build from there on how dark you want it. This is gonna adjust how light your screen's gonna get. You know what I mean? This is how this is how that's done. All right. If you want it a little darker, just put another tablespoon in. That's what you do. Tablespoon by tablespoon. Now we're in the range of the UV mix. Now the UV mix, the original UV mix, the one we have over here that was signed by Crow that someone sent over here. We had an unboxing video on that one right there. This is what color the UV mix comes in around this range right here. Now the one he's showing now, nowhere near that range. It's actually a lot lighter. The reason why is because if we did the original one, it would come out too dark on a white level because he's never tested on a white level. So he made a version that was lighter that could blend in better with white levels. That's why we try to order the product, bring it over here to match the containers, and he canceled the order. Now see how easy it is to lighten it up? Less paint, there you go. Very easy to do. This is how we did our digital one crystal screen paint products. Hmm. That right there for you guys. Let's get that Pac-Man off of there and get something on there. Let's go over to our... Uh... 
you serve, you serve, what, what about what, 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 what? You serve, or not generally, how dare how dare you? How dare you? All right, so this is the original UV mix. This is what it looks like. Not that stuff he's posting on his channel. That's the real one. Now, so you go along, you get it darker as you go along. You put in two into that one, could have put in one. This is how this looks more like Frankie. Frankie! Let me show you right here. Now, as I told you before, this paint right here isn't black. It's a dark gray. Let's get an actual. Oh, we're going to be using this. Trust me. We're definitely going to be using this. I got ideas for this. We can do with this right here. Come on now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on now. We're using that. Come on. We're using everything we got on this table. We're using. Let's compare the white levels for this one to that one over there and see what we get. And this is actually darker than part taste mix right there. And that's just two into that darker version. I'm actually grayer version of that one. Okay. Let's get this up over here. Let's get you guys over here for a minute. So this screen is dry. We're bouncing back and forth. We're doing it all at the same time, people. We're getting everything set up for you guys. Let's go over here. Let's go bring up some applications on this one. This is the product we made a few minutes ago. We just threw some stuff together for this one. Metallica mix right here. Now let's see if we did better or did we get a match? And we just slapped this stuff together. We got better contrast at the end of the day. Watch this. Look at this. Watch this. Let's go to uh, Starfield. The dumbest commercial I've ever seen in my entire life. So we pulled a better contrast level than your um, your Metallica mix. I knew that thing that I was looking up on the screen. Let's go over to, let's see, I want this, no, no, I want that one, why are you bouncing me out, that's the one I want, uh, no, let me, let me see, we want a 4K, give me any form of 4K demos, there we go, bouncing me out of my freaking demo, I'll take that one right there. So the product we just made is better than your Metallica mix. Now, unfortunately, I, Crow, I can't give you the ingredients so you can sell that because I just mix through stuff together. It's too many things together to do it. Now, if you want the exact actual ingredients, it's 10. We maxed it out at 10 and was able to match the screen. Black paint, and if you do white paint, it was actually 10 tablespoons of black paint into white paint to match it. Let's go over to, let me see. So we just beat your product just by throwing stuff together. That's how easy it is, basically. And like I said, at the end of the day, if he feels we're wrong on these demonstrations, all he has to do is make the ingredients one by one. It's no excuses. We sent it directly to him through that freaking chat. So there's no excuses. I told you you could do better. I'll let your guys watch that.
Let's grab one. Let me see. Let's grab. Let's see. Let's see that one. Some other products here for you. Under my table, I have all my products needed to test out black and white paint mixtures. Oh, I want ham on freaking Lowe's when I was down there. I bought a lot of stuff to do every combination we could possibly think of when it comes to black and white paint products. Um, um, products. But at the end of the day, I would suggest you speed it up on these tests because by the time we get done at the end of the month, there are going to be so many versions of these all over the internet, it's not going to be funny. We're going to have a lot to back up. All right, now, as we're doing that one right there, Mine, you're on a 720p projector. Oh, we're gonna make the ultra light mix too. Let's make the ultra light mix. Now that one's pretty easy. That that mind, the contrast levels are gonna be great, but the white levels are gonna be boom through the roof. So we're gonna do it that way. Now, we got a darker paint. Here's a, this is the black paint that we use or to our test with. As you can see, it's much darker. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna put in. Let me see if I want to do it with this one. Start off with two. We're gonna need two of them here. We're just gonna start with two. Make sure that we go along. All right. Let me get yourself a little mixing stick. All right. Bring you guys up top. So we put two in this to start off with. And this is straight. This is black paint. Not that Dynasty gray passable trying to put black paint. This is actual black paint. Now, let's see what happens if you put another tablespoon in there. Let's see what happens. We're experimenting, people. This is what I tell you to do when you get on the site. Experiment. Have some fun. I told you, at the end of the day, it's black and white paint. Now, if you're not sure about that, then guess what? Now, some people may be comfortable with this. Let's see if we do one more. Let's just edge it. Let's push it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Let's experiment here. Get a nice scoop of that white paint on there. Let's experiment here. Let's put a little more on there right there. I'm going to buy myself a lab coat next week. That's it. I'm going to call myself a feather, a feather, a feather free mix. That's what I'm going to call it. We put another one in there. Let's experiment with this. All right. Can we mess it up? Can we go wrong? You're not going to mess it up at all, period. They just put all this complicated bull crap in. Like I said, Parte is a perfect example of talking trash. He puts all this crap about this, that, and the other. You could even follow his own freaking instructions at the end of the day watching the demonstration. So he's just talking for the sake of talking without backing it up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. So you can't, you're not going to be able to mess that up. We just did, uh, what was that? That was. Four. Let's put another one in there. Let's do five now. Matter of fact, let's do five. Let's do six. Take six tablespoons, six to five, six to five. If you want, if you don't want it that dark, you can go with seven. You know what I mean? Anywhere from starting off from two, that's your lowest you want to go at because anything that's going to get really, really dark on your screen. Two, and you get to judge from two to three to four to five. You put in six, six is a good number. 
But if you want a little bit, the farthest I would go is probably about seven. Seven to eight. I would go about eight. Eight is the farthest I go. But after that, you start dipping into the lighter versions. I start getting lighter. You don't want to go down that road. You want to keep it within this area right here. My alarm going off. There you go. But you want it a little bit more, and I mind it's white levels on this are going to suffer badly, very, very badly. Just to let you know. Or just let you know. You're going to pick up your contrast levels, but your white levels are going to be horrible. Because this can't see white light at the end of the day. So we got this one right here, and then we got this one over here we made. See the difference between the two? See how the difference in the shades are? Right here, this is because the paint is actually black here, and the paint here is not black. It's actually kind of a charcoal gray. That's the reaction you're going to get. So the base would change the outcome of how the paint's going to perform. When I was about 10 years old, I had this experience. Now see how this one didn't match? There you go. That fast, that quick. So we just made the product right here. Because keep in mind, this product is going to have to show a huge difference between night and day. Now, you see what I went back and I showed you the Pac-Man screen, right? That's what I mean by difference of night and day. It has to be a, oh, what the freak, a, a massive change like that. You think they're going to get a night and day massive change off this? You really think you are? No, you're not. Save yourself 80 bucks. There you go. Why do you think we have the digital crystal screen paint up there? That's the digital one crystal screen paint right there. That's our product that we get on the website for free. That paint is free right there. You make as much as you want. That paint right there, you'll pay 80 bucks for it. And if he gets mad at you and decides to gouge your price on you in the middle of a shopping cart, then you'll pay two something for it. Now, that's the darker version of the digital crystal screen paint. This is the lighter version of it right here. And that right there next to it is Crow's Personal Mix, right next to our lighter version of our digital crystal screen paint right there. A difference what shade you paint it's still going to be the same way let's wash out a roller let's hit the side of the screen with this stuff again we've got a darker mix is here all done
What did we learn today, people? We learned today that the bottom line is, unless without they do these tests, at the end of the day, you just bought a black and white mix. That's what you bought at the end of the day. So this is what we made today from our paints. We made all this from just our basic black and white mixtures. We made a darker version, came up like a UB. We came up with a, another version, which is kind of interesting. We don't even know what this is yet, but this is going to the wash. And this right here, we made another version that's actually better than the Metallica mix. It actually produces a better contrast level. You see how light that, yeah, that looks? And it produces a better contrast level than the Metallica mix. See? There you go. Save yourself some money. Now, you want to, you ready to paint those darker screens on? Let's get those darker screens painted on. Let's have a little fun with this first. Let's do some lights out, too. Let's get the lights out. What do you know? Lights out, you can't even tell one from the other. Isn't that interesting? Calm down, I'm getting your traits. Relax. I swear, freaking old man. Look at that. Now, since he does a lot of his demonstrations in the dark, look at that. Isn't that isn't that interesting? We just made all those different version ones, stood against the screen, and yeah, you could slop that stuff together, and you still would come out on top. You won't get your treats for today. He needs them, trust me, his breath stinks. That's what they're for. Ain't nothing like having a two pound count sitting in your, on your chest. It smells like a fish factory in the middle of the summer. Yeah, he needs them, trust me. What happens, people, if you paint your screen with black paint? Oh, by the way, the projector we're using behind me is a 1080p 5000 lumen projector. So even at 5000 lumens, the black paint can't see white light. Imagine if you had anything under 5000, if you hit that screen, how dirty your white levels would come up. That's why I told you, and he was telling you to paint that on with that. Oh, don't do that nonsense. Don't do that. You will wreck your screen at the end of the day. That's why you don't listen to him. When he talks, don't even bother listening. Let's go over to uh, real quick. Let's grab a couple more. Let's grab that. Uh, I want to do. Oh, 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 we can throw this in here real quick. Get free express access to skip the regular lines at most universal attractions here and here. When you. There we go, sorry. There we go. See? None. See, all it does the same thing. Save your money. Let me see. I hope you're not doing any demonstrations right now because I would find a demonstration. Matter of fact, I want to figure out what demonstration you're doing today and we're going to match it up against all these screen paints and we'll get the same reaction. Save your money. Oh, we did this demonstration right here. No, Partey did this demonstration. And it matched the white post on the side of this fireplace.
guy with a food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. There you go. That's a phantom's white level. Next time, Crow, get the real deal. Place the order through our website, and I'll ship it to you with no problem. Don't do any more of the fake dumb demonstrations. But meanwhile, I can make your product and parties anytime I want. I told you, just by looking at your demonstration, I can tell how your products are made. And I don't need to put on four coat applications, none of that nonsense, no polarized or depretized or zappertized or whatever nonsense you send in the video demonstration. No, that screen paint right there is the same color as Partez. Gundam style dance in front of your screen. Yeah, these products don't work. And so, this is the day. The house paint people. What you got? Save your money. And if I'm wrong on this, he should have no problem backing it up. He sure enough got all the links, so it shouldn't be a problem. that dirty paint off my screen. Now what I want you to look at, see the floor? You see how much white light is transferring to the floor where the black screen is exorbitant in? Yeah, that's the reason why. Mind you, this is the same technology we stuck against a TV on white levels on a snowstorm. I haven't seen you do that on contrast over just have you? So that white light pushing around the screen? That's why I was getting freaking headaches. 
when I was trying to watch it off a 5,000 lumen projector, that shit would blind me in the face. Here's your sample sheet against my black screen. Let's see if you can turn my screen dark like you do in your demonstrations. Because in Chrome's demonstrations, his products can turn these screens black where you can't see them. color. Red screen. Spent all that money for that projector and you can't even pick up a freaking red level properly. Now the lighter the mix, the more difficult problem it's going to have of pulling up the image. Now you saw it over there, you thought it was too good. Let me get put it right back over here. When the great screen paint mixes, look at this. If you notice that the mix that we made, I don't know what we're going to call that mix, but the mix that we made pulls up a better red level than Crow's products. And right there, you see it's matching our um, our product over here on a digital one crystal screen paint. That right there on a digital one crystal screen paint, we call that one a mid gray. That's what it's called. The mid gray is better than the Metallica paint. And that's free. And these are lighter. These are lighter mixes right here. These are the lighter ones. The personal is a little lighter, but the Metallica mix is darker than the personal. You can see right there, see how the other screen is blended in? That right there is a digital and crystal screen paint. Right, you're seeing next to that, that's Crow's Metallica mix right there. And that costs you 85 bucks to $80, where this one would cost you next to nothing. You can make a gallon of it easily for under 40 bucks. Blue screen, we're in the wrong section, aren't we? Blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. Nope. Blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. We'll just show it off of here on this side. Now that's a blue screen. That's what a blue screen is supposed to look like. Make it for free. Uh, let's go to uh, purple screen. Getting that from YouTube. I'm gonna keep thinking about two different units at the same time. We got here. We got a purple two here. That's purple screen. There you go. So our product, the mid gray uh, digital crystal screen paint, is better than Crow's Metallica mix. You're picking up a much better color. Like I said, it's better than the white screen. It may not match our technology. Oh, heck, no, it's not going to match our technology. But at the end of the day, I mean, at least it's better than dealing with a white screen. You know what I mean? So we have it over here. You can see on this side right there. And I'm going to go bring it up on this side over here on this one. All right. Now we'll go over here and we'll take our product here. Go against that. See, that's okay. Our screens would turn into a white sheet of paper at the end of the day. 
That's why I sat there and told you that your product would end up a phantom. You had a real 100% phantom in your present. Yeah, it'll turn your screen into a white screen. And that product is actually producing, this is the digital one. The digital one is producing a better color than your Metallica mix over there. And it looks like a white sheet of paper next to our black technology. So what do you think would happen to your stuff? There you go, reality check. That reality check, that reality check that kicks in right there. Now, the mix we made right here, this, this mix we just threw stuff together. Like I said, if you, can't, you can't mess it up. As you can see, we made that mix. We just threw everything together. You can't mess it up when it comes to the base. You can't. The base gives you the ability to be able to adjust how dark and light you want it. This is how it's done. This is why when you watch the fellow make the free YouTube paint, he made the product. You see he was using the black paint to adjust it. That's what you adjust the screen paint with. That's all. And I tell you that when you, if you're going to do a demonstration on those mixes, you have to show a difference between night and day. I can show a difference between the digital one versus your product. Here's the difference. Pay free, pay free for 21 people at the end of the day. You can get mad at me, you naysayers, you can get mad at me all you want at the end of the day, it's your money. Not mine, your money at the end of the day. It's your dime. You wanna be stubborn, you wanna be stiff, and you wanna be basic about, well, I'm gonna do, go ahead, knock yourself out. How is that gonna hurt me at the end of the day? It's not my money coming out of your pocket. It's yours, not mine. I'm just showing you what you're getting yourself into. I've been down this road. I've made all this stuff already before. I've made this stuff in so many different combinations. It's not even funny. That's why I can sit here and just throw stuff together and it matches. I've done everything with this freaking gray screen paint. We've exhausted this. That's why I can come over here and say, we're just going to slop this together and put that together, blah, blah, blah. I can make this stuff in my sleep if I wanted to. Blindfolded. And I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to make the screen paint this blind. It's going to be messy. It's going to be messy. We're going to do when it's blindfolded. I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to do that one. I have to, yeah, we're going to make one blindfolded. Literally, you can make this easily. It's old. It's an old screen paint product. There is nothing new about it. No matter how they talk about spectrums and, and ultra lights and all that other nonsense, bull, bull, bull. Unless you can back it up. If I sit here and I come on here and I say, our black screens don't match black paint, don't match black fabric, don't do so and so and so. I can't just say that. I would have to back that up, right? Would you not challenge me on that? You would, wouldn't you? All right then. That's why we have over now 15 or 16 test demonstrations displaying our screen versus black surfaces. There you go, when they don't have any. Okay, let's put the lights back on. Um, let's go over here and let's get this screen on something darker. Let's get a darker mix on this. So we're going to do one side of this with a darker mix. I know you're probably curious about that. <sighs> let's do our darker mix. All right. Of course, you optimist. Yeah, we got a dark mix on it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful, isn't that gamer? It's beautiful, isn't it? That's yeah, it's a beautiful screen paint. So I can just pull that away and just boom! Let me turn the lights on real quick. Watch this one. React the same with the lights on. All this at the bottom is going to wash completely out. Oh, wow! Mr. Murray, that's a pretty impressive. It's impressive, Dennis. Yeah. It's quite an impressive demonstration, Mr. Bird. Tropical 4K fish. Getting that from YouTube. I deserve some relaxing fish right now. Let's see. I want to play. Um, let's do these. I haven't done these in a while. This year has been extremely challenging. I'll put my tropical fish over here. We got the gamer technology over there. What would happen if we already know what's gonna happen if I were to stick your pot? We know what's gonna happen. It's not gonna do well. All right, let's move on. Now we just right, this is the product we have here. I'll tell you that to me that doesn't look like Partey's paint. It does. Anyway, uh, let's go over and let's grab a darker mix. So we're gonna go with hmm. Let's see. Any mini mighty mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If you go, any mini mighty mo. Hmm, I wanted to actually do this one. Can we do both of them? We do a strip on one side and a strip on the other side. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, let's do a, a little strip. No, 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 let's just do it piece by piece. We got time. All right, this is the other one we did. This is the which one? We gotta get the containers out so we can see which one we got here. 
that one matches his. Okay, that one goes to that one. We definitely that one goes to that one. This is the one we made the other one. All right, let's get this one right here. Hmm. Now we need to put the camera into the paint cam. The paint cam. I like this thing, man. It's a good investment. You're already thinking about me dropping my phone into my painted screen. Yeah, it thought already crossed my mind a couple of times. I put extra Velcro up there to make sure. Ha ha! I'm having fun with you. People. Relax. shove a bunch of bull crap down your throat and tell you a bunch of dumb nonsense at the end of the day that's fake and phony you know I, that, like i said my demonstration might be a little different from everybody else but like i said i'm not gonna come in here and talk to you like oh we got the nuclear planet to the x no what am i gonna sit there and tell you that dumb nonsense for it's not even like i said you're gonna tell me people that at the end of the day if you put an extra coat on then it's going to basically optimize the screen to give the ability to produce a higher uh gain level that's to improve it Let's see this happen, because I would love to see that one. The reason why we put the, it's a building system, it's an optimized building system. Then show me a demonstration, break it down. Show me what happens if we miss a couple of steps. What's going to be a reaction out of it all? Oh, you can't show any of that. Okay, there's nothing to say. That's just bull crap. In court, they call it hearsay. You can't back up what you're talking about. It's called hearsay. And they throw that out of court. That is not worth anything at all. Got to have that evidence. So this is our washing our roller out again. I got to buy a pack of rollers. Come on, get on Amazon. I keep forgetting. At least I forgot to remember to get the bending. Bending stands. That's good. So you crow boys. Question. Are you mad at me because I proved your buddy wrong and he can't back up his product? Or are you mad at me because I gave you the option how to make product without you spending the money for it? Which one is it? Because you're going to thank me when you take that $85 or 80 bucks and you go out and spend something else with it, like maybe a popcorn machine on your free product that you can make anytime you want now. Because he can talk all the nonsense in the world about blah, 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 blah. Unless he does the backup demonstration, unless he makes those products live so you can all see it. If he doesn't do it, it ain't worth your time. Did you buy it anyway? Well, at the end of the day, like I said, you don't care. That's your money, not mine. Now, I'm just giving you a little help here. Now, I couldn't have gave you nothing at all. I could have taken this technology we had here, left it in the books, and you would have never heard anything about it. Well, you heard about it, but you would have never known how it was made. And at the end of the day, we can show you how this product wouldn't even harm us in any way whatsoever. This doesn't take money, any money out of my banking account. Orders we got upstairs are from customers that want the real deal. They want they want a good product. They spent the money for the projector. You know what I mean? They hooked up their home theater set up, their own private man cave, whatever. They want the best up there. And that's why we have those orders on the table. They want the best. All right, we're done with this. It's, it's not, you want to make sure you got no water in your roller when you're doing this. You don't want that water to transfer to your screen. You mess your screen up. Now, if you notice something, we painted uh, one, actually, this is our second one. All right, we painted so far this one, the other screen, about three screens so far. Three screens already, and I guarantee you, we would have probably got about four or five screens out by the time Part T would have finished its first one. Now, there's my solution to the line application right there. See that right there? That's my solution right there, Part T. What you want to do is you want to go up in a robot formation this way and this way. Oh, whatever. Have a nice 
heat wave, tropical heat wave. Do 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 Keep in mind, Partey, this coated better. The product I just made that I slopped together coated better than them two coats that you added onto that one screen surface that you did in that demonstration. But what if I came over and said, okay, the screen paint right here requires a two coat application. This right here is the optimizer. This is gonna allow the screen to be able to perform a, a more crystal crystal edge area it's going to give you that optimization that you need and desire and the higher performance projection screens that's what you're going to need so what we're going to do is going to put that on first we'll put this on a second and this is going to no it's not this is just going to cover that one and that's it you're not going to see any improvement at all only difference is this one's darker i'm going to optimize the trapezoid of the Uzi triangle, the Bermuda triangle. This will give you that optimus prime reaction. That's what you want. Let's just put this in the terms of transformers. All right, so what we got here is we have this first, the second coat is an optimization. You're gonna build this as you go along. This is gonna allow the screen to optimum prime, at the bottom is gonna cause an optimum prime effect. This is which is gonna cause a transformation of this screen at the top that's gonna to enhance your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I swear I need sock puppets for this one. I so need sock puppets. Now, you remember when he's talking about, oh, we're running your fingers through it? Oh, great goodness. Let me explain something to you, Partey, about that one. Again, back in, well, many years ago, when this green paint was all the rage, um, you couldn't take your fingers and run it through your screen. We were talking about goose screen. You're talking about perfect application on a roller, that kind of craziness. And that screen actually had three coats that actually did something at the end of the day, three applications. But you couldn't run your fingers through the screen. No one could lean up against the screen because that imprint or whatever would happen on the screen would come up on the screen. You couldn't go in and paint over top of, you had to strip the entire screen all the way down, sand it down all over again, remove every single one of those coatings and do the process all over again. That's how it was with their technology at that particular time. So when we did that demonstration, when I took my hand and I ran it across the finger, across the screen, I did when I walked across the screen with my, with my feet, my um, sneakers, and sat there. All kinds of stuff to show people at the end of the day is foolproof. You can't mess it up. I'll put the goose screen um, tutorial demonstration at the bottom. Just remind you, get yourself a small tack hammer. Not, don't disrespect for them. It's a long video, and it is really, 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 really tedious at the end. Well, do the whole thing is tedious. All right, now we got our other mix here. And what are we gonna call this one? What are we gonna call this mix? This right here is our darker mix that we made. We're gonna use this one right now. Let's put this up real quick. We're done. We can play around right there. We're done already. We've been done already. Now this side, if you decide you don't wanna to go to a lighter version mix, you wanna go with a darker version of it. said before, your white levels are going to suffer with this, so you know from the door what you're getting yourself into. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Let's go ahead and get you guys set up over here. Let's get you off the cam real quick. There you go. Now, just by us adding just a little bit more, doing this is a reversal. Now the reversal basically, this one right here starts off with the base being white first, and then adding in black paint. This is the paint black first, and then adding in white paint. This is what you call a reversal if you want to make the screen darker. The reason why you do it that way, because if you do it where you put the screen white first, you're going to have to add in a ton of black paint, as I said before, to get it to that color. You save the time and resources at the end of the day. Let's get ourselves a fan in here. Get that to dry. I know I pretty much got the onslaught of emails from these two. You know, in the day, just have a QA, and a you two, and get together and have a little powwow. Get some hot cocoa, watch some SpongeBob, and you can talk about me. At the end of the day, back your product up. Don't get mad at me, back your product up. That's what you gotta do. 
Now, the reason why I'm getting this all out and get this done because, like I said, I got to work on my gold screen. And that thing is going to require a lot of freaking paint time. It's going to be very detailed. This screen's like it's made out of solid gold. That's what we're working on. The display this new screen paint we got. And I got to do a ton of artwork on this thing. So, yeah, I want to get all this done, get this taken care of. And then we post this on the website and you guys can see exactly what you're really getting yourself into instead of two people getting on YouTube and just saying absolutely nothing at the end of the day. But to show you, you can make it yourself. If you go to question them on, just say, hey, look, Ken is over there making that paint right now. Can you do the same thing he's doing? Can you show him he's wrong? Yeah, don't hold your breath on that one. You should plan to visit God. All right, that one's drying right there. We need something for this right here. That one's drying already. Now, as you can see, when it's using the darkest paint we have over here, which is real black, I showed you this one we used it right on the screen with. you can't duplicate our product. It ain't gonna happen. And you can't, Crow can't make a black screen paint because at the end of the day, he can't do the tests that are required to display a black screen. As in all those tests we show off, he hasn't done any of them yet, which means he can't make that either. I don't know which one's worse, failing at basically making the gray screen or failing at making the freaking black screen. Now, keep in mind, to be fair, if he had had this product when the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint came out, he would have made some serious money. Because at that particular time, this the technology didn't require a lot. It didn't require this. It didn't require that. You know, it was, you know everybody was doing it. You had YouTube Paint. You had other people were doing their own mixes and stuff. He did it quite well. Now, yeah, right. With all these gunmetal dark screens that are flooding the internet, people want darker and darker and darker screens. Yeah. That's why I said at the end of the day, if you go to elite screens and you say, hey, okay, what's the best screen you got in here? Oh, we got the Dark Star 9. That thing looks nothing like the other screens he has. And the elite screens. They got the lighter uh, white screens. They got the cinema gray, which is a really light, light gray screen. They have the cinema gray uh, 3D. They have the 5D. Those are mid grays. They're a little darker than the cinema gray because you're going to pay a little money for those. And if you want the best of the best, you got to pay for the darker screens. The Dragonfly, the T-Prisons, you ever heard of them? Black Diamond. Those are the, the darker screens. Even Daylight, for the longest time, had light screens. Now they got a real dark gunmetal screen. That's where the technology is at, in the dark. Not in these gray screen paint products. They're old. Optimizing. Really, seriously. I thought you were plugging a trailer for the Transformers at one point. I'm sorry, but I can't stand it. And here's the thing about Parte, and he has to understand this. Parte, so you can understand this crystal clear. We didn't even know who you were. You never came up on our radar anywhere at all, period. I never started on you at all, period. I sat there and said in multiple demonstrations, we just don't pay him any mind. He doesn't want my attention at the end of the day. He's best leaving me alone. But you wanted to jump on Crow's bandwagon and try to harass me or whatever you try to do, you know, try to come at me, try to slander my products, try to say that I'm this and that, try to discredit me. Where did it end up getting you at the end? A locked shopping cart that you can't open because you fear me. That's what happened at the end. Instead of you just minding your own business. We didn't even know who you were at the beginning until you started popping up with these dumb demonstrations. Every time I do a demonstration on the product, here comes the parte. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. He's blah, blah, blah. We never mentioned you at all. Never came at you at all, period, because I didn't even know who you were. We found out about you because you were attacking us for no reason whatsoever. Didn't even know who I was at the end of the day, what kind of person that I was. Just jumped on and attacked me because Crow was attacking me. So how's your outcome now? We have, when we purchase your product, showing that you can't even deliver your product, even if we buy it showing a cancellation from PayPal, getting our money back on our account. Your shopping carts are locked, you can't open them. And your product has been debunked as hearsay, as, as, as even in your own demonstrations, you screw up your own instructions. I don't even, I don't even know you at all, period. 
Nothing about you. All I know is the fact that you came and attacked me for no reason at all. Calling me this, calling me that, because you basically feeding off crow's vibes, crow's nasty comments. Never came on and started a video to my oh, that they were doing a demonstration against so and so and so. I found them on YouTube. No, we didn't know who you were. We found out about you when you came and attacked me for no reason whatsoever. And when you came out attacking me, I still ignored you. I said, you know, we're going to leave it be. Even when your little followers came, oh, you must be afraid of him. You must be afraid of him. Learn something today, you little crow boys out there. When you come into my channel talking about I'm afraid of somebody, if you see me ignore them, it's because I'm trying to show them some kind of mercy. I'm ignoring it. But if you get my attention and I turn in your direction, I'm going to pick your video apart like there's no other. If I'm this brutal against my own stuff, what do you think is going to happen if I do yours? So I ignored it because at the end of the day, I knew what the outcome was going to be. Just like Crow started that dumb nonsense with the meters. Oh, you got to have a meter if your product ain't working. I'm outside doing demonstrations on 115 screens and you're sitting in the dark trying to fake an ambient light environment. Did that dumb demonstration with the fairies. That's all you did. Where's the contrast levels? I came back in and did the fairies, the contrast levels, colors, certified screens, your screens, and the white wall at the same time. All right, there we go. So didn't even know who Partey was. We didn't know he was. Anything at all. The only reason why we knew how Partey existed because we kept seeing those videos pop up. He kept emailing us. About, well, what about this? And challenge me here and challenge me there. Okay. You wanted my attention. Now you don't want my attention anymore, do you? You wish you never even heard I even exist, do you? I could do it. Like I said, the demonstration, my last one for you today is going to be your application. I don't even have to buy your product. And I bought your product for the simple fact to get it down here for testing, but I knew you were going to cancel out. I knew you were going to cower it up and you weren't going to have it down here because your product doesn't work. That's all I needed from you from that one. But alone in your instructions alone, I could bury you in your, your instructions. And that's what I'm doing today. Today we're going to do a demonstration. We're going to see how fast it takes to paint one of our screens, dry it, and watch a movie off it in no time at all. Getting certified screens at the same time. And then we're just going to basically watch your tutorial next to mine. I'm even going to post your instructions right there. Ah, look at that screen right there. It's coming out quite nice, isn't it? You're going to make that one, too. Let's see why we're doing this. Let's do, uh, can you see how long this stuff takes to dry? Ugh. It's because it's paint, that's why. I'm trying to make it, it's not a paint. It's not, it's a paint, buddy. Your product is a paint. That's what it is. It's a paint. Let me see. Um, let's go to, um, I'm in the wrong one. Cancel. It's going this side. <sighs> Can't see white light. Skyworth, food demonstration. Well, I'd be surprised if it hit that one because at the end of the day, we got the fan directly in front. So let's see. Let's go out of here. It should be from here. There we go. Now, as I told you before, if you make the mixes darker, you have to understand your white levels are going to suffer. If you make it too light, that means your contrast levels are going to suffer. See how difficult this is going to become? Now we got the UV mix over here on our sample sheet. Let's see how the UV mix compares to this other mix we have, which is dark too. Got a dry spot right here.
It's not picking up the same white levels. There you go. White screen. Yep. Can't see white light, so the image is going to come up dirty. Okay, let me see. Uh, let's get the corner. We're going to strike this. Let's get the corner on this side with the last mix we're going to do. That is the one we did that actually is the next one we got. Um, there may be these mixed up. Yeah, this one right here, this is the next one. We're going to do this is the one we did on the mystery. We did a different color base on that one. See how that one comes up? So we're going to get that side too right now. All right, let's get that over. You guys on the paint cam. And that's what's going to happen. You make it too dark, your white levels suffer. They come out dirty. Now tomorrow we're going to do... That's me hitting my phone. Tomorrow we're going to do ultra light mixes. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Ultra light mixes. These are going to be mixes that are only going to involve one to two tablespoons of black paint. That's it. They're designed to produce higher white levels. And so we had that screen paint that came out called that um, HD 2.0 Ice. Ice search. HD 2.9 Ice. These are really light mixes. They have a different category. Like I said, these screen paint comes in different shades. That's why somebody popped the top of his cans. And I looked at them. I said, they're only off by a couple of shades of black paint. We're going to make some ultra light mixes. We'll do that tomorrow. We might do it today. Depends on what we got going on today. All right, so we did that one. This is the next one we're going to do. Make sure. Yeah, we did this one because that one's poor. This one's nearly empty. Pour this one on this side right here. Get my roller paint out again. Think about it real quick, people. You just watched me wash up my ruler multiple times. We painted multiple screens. Can you imagine doing that for one freaking screen? Think about that. You just watched me wash my ruler out multiple times for several different screens. Can you imagine doing that for one screen? And look at the size of my screen. Now imagine that at one of these screens we have in here at 135 or 126 or a 106 inch screen, imagine that. And this sample sheet is way bigger than what he used in this demonstration. That's why I said you really can't give a calculation on a proper drying time if your screen is not the normal size of the average projection screen you're gonna find in the home. So how do you know what the normal drying time really is? You said set for two to, th to, uh, two to three minutes. So that's where that's questionable because now someone has to see what will happen if the screen didn't set for two to three minutes. What would happen? Is there going to be an outcome? Is the screen going to be to produce better color? The color what's going to be lacking on the screen? What's, what mistakes are you going to suffer from skipping those particular um, um, steps? Because in your demonstration, you skipped a few steps. You basically sat there and said uh, you needed three inches when you said two. And she applied two. Or well, if there was two, I don't know. 
At the end of the day, like I said, no one's going to really know exactly. Look at the screen and see if that's between two and three. My, as the paint hits, it's not going to stay still. It's going to expand. Another not, you, everything you have is so questionable, it's not even funny. So when that paint person pours it out, you know the paint's going to expand, right? You're not going to get a perfect line of a two-inch line or three-inch line because the paint is going to expand as it pushes out. It's going to be moving across the screen. So how do you know if you have it approximately at two inches or three inches if the paint's expanding the minute you pour it out? And people are not going to know how much paint to pour to begin with. Some are going to paint a little bit more there. I saw that when you, when you poured it out, it was wide here and thin here and wide here. As we were trying to make that line, but you're not going to do that at all, period. So what is the difference of not letting the screen set and not letting it set? As we can see, there's no difference when you stir it up because you went two points in the video, you forgot to stir it twice or instruct to be stirred twice. And then the, the last one, you advise it to be stirred. I didn't see any difference at all, period. Yeah, it's just be you on camera just talking for the sake of talking. You, you got to break down all your instructions now, and you got to back that up to show what would happen if that person were to miss a step or if they were to do this and do that because keep in mind, that's going to be going through the customer's head, especially when you put such detailed instructions in. Now, what I'm doing, doing is drying my roller out because you have to make sure there's no water in your roller. You don't want that transferring over to the paint. Good grace, I could not imagine. If I had literally had the, all the stuff I had to do, and I thought, you know how many screens I have in my house? Oh my goodness, can you imagine me trying to paint this to a ceiling? Good gracious, that'd be a freaking nightmare to paint that to a ceiling. First of all, and then again, he talked about the paint pan. You didn't go any farther than that. You mentioned paint pan, but you didn't say anything else. I'll talk about that a little bit more in the demonstration. No, you can't talk about that anymore in the demonstration because if you can use a paint pan, you wouldn't have to apply to a screen in a straight line. That pretty much eliminates all that nonsense, the chart, and all that other crap that you threw in there. Oh, my goodness. This stuff is popping in my head right now. So let me ask you a question. I got to get this guy on. He'll be calling me again. I would love to get him on a speaker conference to pick his brain real quick. What about paint sprayers? Now, if it requires for you to be able to paint a two inch to three inch line across the screen, right? And then roll it back and forth. How does that apply to a paint sprayer? What are you going to do? Do you have to paint a spray a line across your screen? And how would that even work? You don't even have an application video for paint spraying, do you? I'd love to see that one. There's so many questions you can get out of that. It's like trying to do a, where, a Where's Waldo puzzle that's on the side of the Brooklyn Bridge. You know what I mean? Like, what the, as big as the Brooklyn Bridge, it'll take you forever to figure that crap out. That's how your, your instructions are. And every time you do find out something, you find out something, it's something positive. Wait a minute, how would you even do that to begin with? All right, let's get this rolling and get this done, people. Too many, too much. You, uh, you did that. He made that complicated because him and Crow's stuff probably matches. Across the sea. My cat upstairs is ticked. Man, I'm upstairs frustrated right now. Where the freak is my treats, man? Where the freak is my treats? I got to get over to home. Oh, we're going to do that 235.1 levitating screen. It is going to be gorgeous. And this time we can levitate this one. We've got the room to do it. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to make part of it a fish tank because I like my fish. We're going to do an abstract art. We're going to put in this nice soft glow light with remote controls. I'll show you. I got one upstairs. Hopefully, I think it's not trigger off the lights I got downstairs. We'll figure it out. I'm going to find out in a few minutes so it'll trigger off my lights downstairs. But I like this because it has dip. Oh, I'm I'll show you. I got to show it to you. I got to show it to you. I'm going to do a customized virtual fish tank and movie screen at the same time. You're gonna love it. You're going to love it. All right, so this is the other dark paint we made right here. We're just gonna put a little bit of this right down the middle. We're gonna have a strip of each one in there. Now, today, we'll do it today. We'll make the ultralight mixes today. We'll make them today for you. Oh, we can't. We forgot. We need silver for that. They, re they require silver. So let me go order me some silver paint for that so I can get that for you. It's either ultra light silver mixes. We only have, we only made those in two. 
So right now on camera, I'll tell you what's going to go into them. And I'll jot down a pen or just basically pause the video. What do you got to do? I'll put it at the bottom of the description. So what you want to do is you want to start off with the white, the base being white. You want to put in two or one tablespoon. The less, one, max, two of black paint tablespoons. And what you want to do is you want to add in ten tablespoons of silver paint. Now, I would suggest going with the silver glitter. I wouldn't go with the gold. You want to keep it as light as possible. Go with the gold. One fourth, I think it's one fourth of a spoon that you would need, just two of those, you would need of silver, that's it. And that's it. That's all you would need. That would give you that. The contrast levels, like I said, are going to be better with the lights out. We're all going to be all better with the lights out. But this one definitely has to be done with the lights out, trust me. But the white levels, if you're one of those people who seek those really, really crazy high white levels, that's going to be perfect for you. How that's going to compare against our product? Our product's going to destroy it on so many levels it's not even funny. But still, at the end of the day, it's better than a white screen. And it's better than 80 bucks. than paying $80 for it. So there you go. So I'll put that ingredients down there for you. All right, and then we'll make it, and we'll do some demonstrations off of it. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now, we've got two different versions of the dark mixes here. All right. Very easy to do, and we're done. Now, you want to know if your screen is fully dry. How do you know if your screen is fully dry and it's not curing anymore? You take tape, and you put it across your screen. I've done this in demonstrations. You watch me paint the screen and try to stick something up there and it'll fall right off, but it'll be dry to the touch. That's because the screen is still saturated, it's still wet. It doesn't take five to seven days for a screen to cure. Oil paint can dry faster than that. So it doesn't take that long. All right, this is done right here. Let's go over and put this up to make dry this. need some of this paint left over. We've got to make enough of it. You know why? Because we have to do a 150 inch screen too. I want to put this great paint product on a 150 inch screen. I want to display it outside. So that way we can have a much larger level. So on the gate, we're going to do side by side. We're going to have a 150 inch screen of our dark technology versus this gray paint technology. We're going to have side by side and we'll have a white screen at the end. We'll show you with multiple projectors outside why you don't want to go near white screens outside, why you don't want to go near any of these gray screen paint mixes at the end of the day. And this stuff right here at the end of the day, and if you make it darker, it's still going to cause your white levels to suffer horribly. Especially if we put this stuff near those ultra light mixes. You'll be like, woo. So you can see a huge difference in there. Okay, ugh. Well, like I said, at least it's better than paying for it. It's better than basically getting a white screen at the end of the day. If you, if you have, at the end of the day, if you spent the money for a really good projector, at the end of the day, you spent the money. These are for people, at the end of the day, who may be on a fixed income, they may not be able to get the high-end projectors, they can still do the 720 piece, get a nice image off of it. It's better than having a white wall, it's better than a white screen. But if you spent the money for a really good projector and you're using this stuff, shame on you. You don't need your projector. Take it back, go get yourself one of those generic projectors. It's a waste of time, you've insulted that projector. You're lucky that projector's not a transformer. Probably transforming, just slap you in the face like, Ugh! how dare you disrespect me with this nonsense? And transformer fly out your window. Oh, I would love to see that. That'd be funny if Transformers were real. And then someone was actually using the paint. And the Transformers like, what the freak? I don't look like this. My projector had, he's going through his specifications on how advanced his technology is. I'm like, what the freak do I look like that? My colors don't even come up that way. And I said, it just Transformers on. You smack your right like, push, popcorn and candy flies to call out the room. And I said, it just blows a hole right through your wall. And takes a choo 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 choo. That'd be a funny commercial. How dare you disrespect me with this mess. All right. Let's get this one to dry over here, people. We're getting off the, the paint cam. Let's go pop over here. Show you what we got going on. Now this one's going to be a little darker. This one's darker. This one was actually made with the black paint. This was made with the kind of the paint that's actually not black. It's more came out a little more of a charcoal color. And in the middle, we have the mix we just threw together. All right, okay, let's get this stuff off. 
tighten it up because I gotta be up. I got four to take care of today. Everybody's done, 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 and done. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, a few of my customers, uh, a few of my customers are some really crazy fixed incomes, you know. You know, we can only drop the paint for so much. At the end of the day, I have to make money still, you know. But, you know, this helps them out also too. Because, like I said, for the time being, this is like a screen for the time being until they get ready to buy our product. At least, like I said, at the end of the day, it's better than a white screen. And you don't have to pay all this money for it at the end of the day. And he's trying to get 200 and something a gallon. Are you kidding me? You make this stuff for $40 a gallon. You want to go if you want the bare silver screen, use bare silver screen $17 for bike paint, you're around a $40 mark. But at the, for what he's asking for, oh heck no. Uh, let me see your test first before I put money into this. Alright, well that's trying. Let's get something else on there. Let's get um, let's see, um I don't know what you want. Yep. So you can see, if you add black paint to it, colors are going to improve a little bit, a little darker, but your white levels are going to suffer horribly. And if you make it too light, then that means that your contrast and colors are going to suffer. It's like that in between. And mind you, at the entire time, you're going to have to do the skin. It's 18 certified projection screens and all the crazy tests we do at the end of the day. This is the light stuff. We haven't even put it against the heavy stuff yet. So let's go over here and let's grab, let me see. <sighs> at least it knows at the end of the day what you're actually getting yourself into. Four K demonstrations. I got butchered. I mean I butcher pretty bad. I'm better for just put it myself. Oh there we go, that works. Now, see right here, we used the black paint. With we made the uh, black paint. This is more like the, um, the black paint uh, was five or six. It was six whites into the black paint that made this one right here. The base of this one was actually black. This one was more of a kind of a charcoal, dark charcoal gray, like that dynasty black. That's a charcoal gray. And in between, we had the lighter mix. So now that's not pulling up all that well. Let's go over to, uh, let me see. Uh, let's grab one of these real quick. And that's the sample sheet of the UV at the bottom. So you can see it right there with green tape on it. Right there. The screen's still wet. We should have, hold on, let me see if we're a little dry in here. Alright, that's good. So just match your UV mix right there on camera. Too well. See what I mean? Still wet. Now 
Actually, that's picking up a little bit of a better contrast over the new Yubi. Yes, it is. Yep, see that? So this is actually picking up a better contrast level than the Yubi mix. But yeah, it's picking up the same color as the Yubi. Oh, we just got a... Yo, did I remember how I made this stuff? Oh, yeah, I did remember. I did write it down. That's the only... That's the damn part. I'm going to have to go back in the video because I didn't write anything down. So we have a product here that we just made by throwing, putting our mixes together. We measured it out. Oh, that's six. That is six. Paint, see, it's still wet. That's why it's falling off. That's the one we made with the six into the black paint. That's what it was. So it's matching the UV's uh, colors and stuff. The UV can't match the contrast level. So that's actually better than the UV mix. Let's see if we get a bigger piece of tape here. The product we made, we just made a product better than the UV mix. It's picking up the UV mix color, as you can see, look at it. But look when it comes to the contrast levels. Yeah, let me get that fan out of here. We're fan that. That's it. We don't need. See what I mean when it comes with the which one? Look at the colors. You you get your contrast. But your white levels are going to suffer. Here you get those bright colors, but your contrast is going to suffer. And see how dirty the image comes up here? And the dirty the image comes up there? See? There you go. That's the uh, the doom side of screen paint products. So now you see how advanced it is when you have a black technology that's darker than those two screens right there and can maintain its white levels and contrast levels that can produce an image outside at 150 and show a white storm so bright that it reflects off glass, off grass, off glass, grass. There you go. That's why my technology sells so fast. Perfect balance. Back to this real quick. Yeah. Yeah. And that's still not even black. That's gray. that black. See the difference? I told you phantoms were that dark. Hmm. Look at the look at this look at the side of the panel right here on the side of my thing. Look how, look how dark look how that matches. All this matches. Look at this. That doesn't even match that as dark as it is. Yeah, we went ham on this. We was at three, what? Whoa, we're up on our time here. Ah, we didn't need to be done. You have to see what you're getting yourself into at the end of the day. That's why videos take so long. Well, why do your videos take so long? Because there's a whole lot of stuff you're supposed to see, and at the end of the day, we're not gonna cut corners. Time 
metallica mix can't pull a contrast level in a fully lit environment guess what cinemax can't either nothing special about that because there's crows making an accusation much like i said they make a lot of accusations i can't back up if he's making an accusation that the cinemax can pull a contrast level equal to a darker mix that's a lie how about you make one of these darker mixes that we have over here do the demonstration against your cinemax and see which one pulls the better contrast level can't pack that one up can you of course, we don't have to ask that because you already did that to yourself. When you try to do the jet black, whatever fusion that stuff was supposed to be, that stuff beat your Cinemax. Let's do some football highlights. Oh, no, 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 no. There's something there I just saw. We need that one right here. There was a demonstration he displayed a hamburger. I know where that's at. I know exactly. I don't know where these videos were hard, but I know where that one's definitely at. Let me see. I think it's in that 12K. It's not in the 8K. Let me see where it's at. Yeah, it's going to keep falling down. That's because the screen's so saturated. Still wet. Let's see what's going on here with the charger. There we go. I want to go over two. It's not there. I think it's in this one right here. Good contrast level right there too, right there. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna do this one for a minute. So like I said, at the end of the day, if you can't back up the demonstrations and you can't sit there and complain and say, well, I don't have any of the tests. Yes, he does. We sent a whole bunch over to him in the live stream. He has everything. He can watch it from here and do it from here. And like I said, if you can't back it up, save your money. As for Parte, you don't have to worry about buying from him. His shop carts are locked. They're not opening up anytime soon. They're going to stay locked. Once they do open, we get access to your product. I'm going to break down every freaking theory you just said. And when your demonstration, I'll apply your screen. Now, let's see what happens if we paint that an extra coat, five coats, and if that's going to improve the game. I'll even go out and buy a game gun for that one. Let's see what happens if we skip, a we make mistakes. Let's skip a couple of steps and see what happens if the outcome is going to basically change the reaction of the screen. Because you said it's a building process, an optimized building process. So each one of those coatings, you're building a system. Let's see what happens if we remove a couple of the options out of the system, see if it reacts the exact same way. We'll do one the correct way, and another one we're just going to pull out to make mistakes to see what would happen if there's an outcome to it all. What if we don't let the screen set for two to three minutes? Is that going to change the outcome of the screen and the drying time? All that stuff, we're going to run through tests. And then we're going to take that same gray product that I made over here, and we're going to put that against your mid-gray, because that looks exactly like your screen paint. And I didn't have to go through that whole process of multi-coat application nonsense. Keep in mind, we painted multiple screens today, people. Multiple different screens, where in his requirement, you're going to have to do that four times in a row for one screen. And we did multiple screens. No paint, no lines down the middle, none of that nonsense, no. And we painted over screen after screen after screen after screen. Oh, my goodness.
All right. Ooh, that's a big projector right there. Good gracious. Look at the size of that thing. It's like Optimate Prime Knuckle. I would terrify it has that over time. My head much. No. Mm -mm. I'm going to say mount it. Yeah, I'm going to mount it to the best job. Mount it, but still, at the end of the day, no. Is there any fake black screen paint products you made, Crow? Guess what? We could do the same thing over here with your fake black screen paint products. Do the same reaction. If you want to make that paint even darker, you just put less black paint into it. White paint, that's all you got to do. We started them at between five and six when we did reversals. You drop it from basically from um, four to three to four. That's it. But again, like I said, your white levels are going to start to suffer even more. Why you showed them that demonstrated? Look, this is my, my black screen paint. Big deal. You do the same thing over here. But so the problem with your problem is you can't do a black and white pour out because I mean a black paint pour out because your product at the end of the day is a dark gray paint. That's what it is. I sent them all the tests. Here are all the tests we just did on the on the product. Do the exact same test we did versus our black screen versus black paint. Not one was done. You know why? Because this product is black paint. At the end of the day, it's going to match. That's why. Or the black paint may beat the dead eyes out of his screen. All right, so let's come out of here. Let's go over to uh, TCL 4K demonstrations. Oh, I don't know if I that or not. Here we go. Screens off. Now let's go for a, uh, let me see really quick. Snow white screen savers. There you go. There you go. Told you. Yeah, white levels suffer badly and I mean really really bad yes crow is UV mix in the center That's how we know that the UV mix was a reversal. Had a lot of black paint in it. A lot of black paint in it. Reacts the same way as our mixes over here. And they're two different mixes. Now there we go. That is the mixes that uh, right there. This is uh, Metallica mix. And that's the personal mix you can see right there. And this is our product that we made right there. One crystal screen paint. Right 
stamp. That's a digital Christmas green paint original. So you got free, not free. These are all free, not free. There you go. Go ahead and make yourself a gallon and enjoy yourself. All right, uh, we're going to paint one of these 150 inch screens. So I'm going to make a gallon of this stuff for myself. I haven't decided which mix we're going to make, but I'll make one of them. Now we, we need to make one that's going to match here. So we're going to make the. Um, we we'll do the personal mix. The personal mix is easy to do. That's only four tablespoons of black paint into white paint. So we'll make that. I'll make about. I need about a, two quarts of it to paint one of those. I got two of the 150 inches. We only need one of those. We want to paint one of those. If the weather's good, we're going outside today. We're going to do a side-by-side -side outside to show you exactly uh, why you don't want to go down that road. I think I might do one half of it in white, too. We're going to do white. We're going to strip it. We'll do one half in white with some white paint. The other half of it we'll do with the UV, um, the personal mix. We'll take that outside, see if there's a difference between the two screens of having a white screen versus that product outside. And then we'll have the black technology out there. Dope. Can we get some of this for this? So we can mark these, get these ready. We're going to have the ingredients next to these. Clean up a little bit in here, and then we'll be ready to go. Oh, um, let me put on a demonstration for you so you can watch something all blend together. Let's put on that Sony one hour demonstration. That's a pretty good one right there. Wait, wait, wait. Are we doing the snow dogs? What are you doing the snow dogs? Here we Let's do some of the snow dogs on those white levels in there. I'll push it back a little bit more. There we go. Let me get my charger in here. My phone. And then everything will be all Gucci. There we go. And that way you can get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. But also towards the end of the day, like I said, it all reacts the same way. Save yourself a little coin. Put your money someplace else. Because like I said, if he came out there and he could back it up and say, hey, look, you're a liar, Mr. Kent. I'm going to show you where you're a liar. I'm going to back it up. And he does those demonstrations where he makes each one of those products. And let me show you what he has to do. So you know what Crow has to do. So there's no him cutting corners like he did the last time we took his own products, put them against his own products. He's got to make every last one of those ingredients. Now you got to make more. Because we just made more of them. So now you got to make those too. Every time you prolong on this, we'll make more and more of this product. Which means now you're going to have to match your product against these products. So what Crow has to do is he has to come and do a live stream. He has to make those products. Any products or ingredients that we post, he has to make those directly, like a cooking channel. So you can see exactly what he's putting into it. So he can't put no different, no darker colors into it. He can't alter or change it to make it look like something more than it's not. Can't do that. Because you have the ingredients also too. You can look at it and go, oh, wait a minute, that's not supposed to be in there. What are you doing? So that's why it's all posted. He's going to make those ingredients live, paint those against his screen like we did in here, and he's going to have to show a difference between night and day. Not this, a difference between night and day. Like me sticking my, when I showed you the demonstration with the Pac-Man, and you saw the Pac-Man blew up off the screen, and the gray screen was washed out like that. It's going to be that, that, that huge of a difference. That's what he has to be to show. But until then, he hasn't done them yet. He hasn't started one. Even after, like I said, we sent him all the information he needed through a live stream chat. We were talking directly to him. So he has it right there. He has all the links. And if the next day, if he didn't perform any of those tests, not one, save your money. Now, today, we're going to do the ultra light. I gave you the ingredients. I'll post it down again. We're going to make two of them today. Oh, well, actually, I forgot. We got to order this silver for that. Sorry about that, people. We got to order silver. And this silver is required for that. And that's the digital one right there. So let me put something on for you guys while I get in here and clean up my mess in here. Get my shop cleaned back up. Let's go into that Sony one hour because that's the good one right there. No, 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 no. Let's go to let's go to um let's go to KeyCut. KeyCut has a bunch of them in that are really good. Let's go grab that one. Take this out. Let's go to that key cut because they got a bunch of them back to back to back. Let's do this one right here. We got the skydiving. I'm gonna start off with the good one. Some of the stuff got kind of all right. We'll do this one with the contrast levels. 
There we go. See if we can go back to the beginning on that one, and then you guys are good to go. I get my mess cleaned up down here and get this place organized because we got white paint and this stuff all over the place. I gotta change up my blackout. The surface that she came from. It is messy down here. I gotta change up my uh, my floors. Gotta do that today. Change up the floors. Yes. 
Where you belong at. That's what your daddy, you know that. You know the rules. Why is it so quiet? What's going on? Why is it so quiet? Oh, it's doing that snow scenery. That's what it's doing. Thank you. 
Master told me to go to Rainwood and play again. Now, sick. of deep blues. There we go. So the 720p, $270 projector is not calibrated. Still sets the factory settings. The screen is an elite screen interest at 106 inches, $69.
I run to live longer. I eat healthy to feel my routine. doing some more demonstrations on the gamer so uh, we're gonna do the paint on screen with Partez his instructions versus our technology showing the process and time for painting and then once we're done that uh, I'm gonna take a break for a little bit from this I'm gonna I gotta get back into some other work right now so we have that uh, gold screen paint we're going to be working on we still have that blue uh, platinum stuff we're working on right now we haven't even dipped into this screen yet. All we did was show some of the certificate, the certified demonstrations, but we have to get in this because this has to have a label and it has to be launched. So we have to get back to testing to this right here now. Um, I will be doing some gaming demonstrations outside. So I ordered 150 inch, another one of those cloth surfaces. We're going to paint it right here. And there's also two, we're thinking about bringing out some other options for the acoustics. So I keep telling you that all the other screen paints we have have invisible technology embedded next to them. There is an acoustic game or two. We can actually make that a spray on version to work with the acoustic screens with the gaming application of phantom technology. So you can roll it on or spray it up with an acoustic. Now, if we do that, it will come with the free surface just to let you know. So those are the things we're working on right now. So I do want to take one of these outside for some fun um, since we got everything set up, but we have to get another surface here. Now this surface is right there, will cost you 48 bucks a pop. They're really cheap to get. We'll coat one here, do the demonstration, dry it, take it outside, do some gaming off and have some fun with it um that's basically about it but i got to get back to work right now we're getting near the deadline of us shipping out items still waiting for containers to get here and a few other things right now i just got some packages that popped up at the front door that should be some of my supplies and then uh, we'll get everybody taken care of everybody right now everybody just has tracking numbers that are activating i got about eight more in the count i got to go through right now and then we'll have you all taken care of and you'll be good to go so drivers are already scheduled to pick up on saturday instead of friday this time She's got some things she's working on, so she had to do it on Friday, but everybody got taken care of. All right, let's get you guys going. I got a few people I got to contact today. I let them know that their packages are shipping out and uh, keep them up to date what's going on. Let's turn this machine off. Where's my charger for my phone? Everything down here is good with the CS Lewis charging up for the controller. And that's it, shop's all cleaned out. Now, today I got to go in and we change out the floors. So all this gets taken up, sweep this down, mop everything down, and then basically the floors are trash, but mop everything down and we're done. Once I leave this place right here and I move to my new house, this is gonna be converted into a movie theater room. This is what I'm planning to do. All the floors are gonna be stripped up, all hardwood floors, and it's a nice step down area right there. We're gonna turn this into a screen. We're gonna set up an ultra short though setup in here for it. And uh, we're gonna put a little movie theater in here. So I can take these washer and dryers out and make them stackable, put them behind there over there. Or it's a closet behind there. I can put them behind there, hide all that out. They'll figure a way. I'm paying a contractor to come and do the job anyway, so he'll figure it out. That's what his job is right there to do. Or you can just stick it over there. You can just put it over there. The washer and dryer, little laundry room area in there, just turn this into a theater room. But it's going to come with the house. I'm already purchasing this place already, so I'm going to rent this place out and I'm going to buy me another house. It's always good to have a little real estate under your belt. You know, always good to have a couple of houses. Just in case if something happens, you can always fall back on one of them. Now, I will be a landlord. Eventually, I will become a landlord. I think my options are going to be a little different. I want to do this if I ever decided to go into real estate and do renting some houses out. Now, personally, this is what I would do. I don't know if anybody else would do the same thing. For the month of December, I would get free rent as a gift. I mean, come on. I'm making enough money as it is. I mean, why not? I think it's a good idea for the month of December. Number one, the month of December is very hard for families. You know, they got to pay rent, they got bills and stuff they got to pay for, and they got Christmas gifts and all that stuff. That's a very hard month to be able to have money in your pocket. So why not give them free rent? All, all people, anyone who rents from me, they get free rent for the month of December. That's my gift to them. Like I'm going to lose any money over that. It's that greed people got. And then on top of that, number one, we'll keep my building, my building will constantly stay with tenants with no problem at the end of the day so um yeah because you get that free rent in there but i think that's nice because at the end of the day i had, i actually had a place where i was staying that they just gave us a month they gave us a month of december for free like we didn't have to pay anything at all i mean even though i was making the money to pay it but still at the end of the day that's like just extra fourteen hundred dollars i don't got to pay out 
I'm not gonna tell you what my rent is here. Mine, that was a that was a three bedroom house. It was much smaller than this. So I'm gonna tell you what I paid for this place in here. It's something. I gave it that much. It's something. But it's worth it. You got plenty enough room. And that's what I wanted. When I was looking around for a place to rent move into, I wanted a place that I can walk into and the place would open up. Not too big and not too small. Got a top over here. I don't know what he's waiting for. He's waiting for somebody. You waiting for your body? I put food out there for him, didn't I? That's the raccoons one up there and had their way with it. Let me see, is he out there right now? I gotta get that trash out of here too. No, no, the raccoons have their way with it. All right. All right, people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we leave out of here, we gotta look up something real quick. I wanted to show you something real quick on the internet. Uh, where's the charger? I've got my charger up. I bet you look right downstairs in the shop. There's the acoustic screen. That's the kind of bit right there. There's my acoustic. I love watching these shows. I can watch these all day. These are shows these guys built these houses from scratch. Oh man, freaking amazing. Can you imagine that? You're building a house. Most people got to pay for those suckers. And you're in there building your house. That's, that's, that's amazing. I think that's amazing. I like to watch when they do it from beginning to end, when they fit the foundation and everything. I like the log cabin builds. Those are the ones I like the most. Good gracious, imagine like <laughs> buying a house. Build the mine. That's a, that's a heck of a freaking brag piece at a party, ain't it? Yeah, so me and my wife, we decided to get this house up in the Hamptons. Just blah, 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 blah. How about you? What are you doing? I'm building my house. Really? Like, yeah, these are the blueprints and so and so and so. Pfft. Custom build that thing, anything you want. The sauna, wine cellar, whole nine yards, two theater rooms. Yeah. And especially if you do, if you got people who build and do landscaping. Oh man. That's a Japanese tea garden with the Japanese tea house. That's real bamboo, by the way. Man. You do one of them, shoot. I am one of the one of the rooms I will be designing in the new house. I'm gonna put in a disco in one of them. I like the disco, I like disco music, everything. I'm gonna put in a disco. And it's it's basically just gonna walk through section. That's basically about the floor is gonna light up and everything. The minute you walk through, it's gonna start playing burn baby burn disco fire. It's gonna play all these different music. And the dot so many cameras in there, it's not it's just basically to record you dancing through. So you can't walk through that room, you have to dance through that room. Just to have some fun. I like stuff like that in the house. I got plenty of people in my family from that era, man. They said, oh, you put that in there, I'll be in there kicking it. Doing the John to vote to the whole wave thing, pointing up in there, back and forth. Can I have some fun? Uh, all righty. Now, this is what I want to show you. Now, as I said before, we made this product. That's why I said that the product looked kind of weird when he was pushing it out because when she was pushing it out, it had a kind of like a oily kind of texture, like something wasn't blending well with it. And that comes from, if you have something in there that's not mixing right, like an oil. Oil and paint don't go together too well. You know that, right? So um, it kind of, we had the same reaction when we were doing it. So this is the first product. He actually made a black paint that he gave up for free. We made it. We made it like years ago. Um, for some reason, him and uh, Crow, uh, came in into my channel and was like, oh, we've got this free paint. We want you to make it and put it against your paint. I said, we did it already. We did it like two years back. Where are you at? You guys are late. Well, one year back, but they were late. I was into that conversation. Because the first minute I saw the demonstration, I'm like, challenge accepted. Oh, heck yes. Definitely going to accept that challenge. Oh, man, I got to contact one of my other buddies. He makes arcade cabinets. I want an arcade cabinet in here. A customized one. He does one with the retro pie and everything. Because it will charge me less, 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 less. But I want to do, I'm going to arcade cabinet here somewhere. I'm going in.
try to do these demonstrations a little shorter, but when you're doing multiple paint on applications, there is no way around that at all. And it's going to be a long freaking demonstration. There is, it's a shame because there's so much you guys are supposed to be seeing in demonstrations. They don't show you everything. You don't see everything. They cut a lot of corners. Even the big companies cut corners. They cut them. Taco! Taco! Meow? 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 You coming up? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm sorry I haven't been up in the morning. I take care of it. Take this demonstration real quick. Rawr. You know the deal. We got to put your sofa in. We're going to hook him up a cool sofa. So I just don't like the fact he has to lean over to the screen. I don't want him falling and hurting himself. So we're going to put a nice portable sofa in there for Taco. So you can sit there and he can watch his screen a little closer up. We're trying to kill himself. You want a sofa? Don't chew on that. Oh, you're trying something else. Don't chew on that. You want a sofa? We'll put a sofa in there for you. I'm gonna go online. We'll put the platform in there. Oh, put some light. So we gotta put some night. Um, some little night lights. Make it like a little tiny uh, little living room in there. A little top. We can fold it put back down. That'd be cool for Mr. Taco. Let's see what's going on here. Really? You just gonna chew on that? No, the outcome of that's not gonna be good, right? It's not gonna be good on the outcome of that. Don't chew on that. Seriously. We way you get jacked up. To make yourself sick that way. All right, let me see. We got to go right here on this right here. I guess we'll put all these links in here for you guys. Did we put links in this one for you? Let me see. Let me check. Yeah, somebody's saying that you painted a, a screen in your cat's room. Does he watch it? Like, yeah, he watches it. Yesterday he was chilling. He was sitting all rolled up, sitting there chilling. We got actually ordered him another a cat scratcher. So he got another cat scratcher coming in. He got some kind of mountain thing he can climb for the room in there. He's got a bunch of stuff to order for Christmas for him. And he got a second um, water dish and bowl dish for upstairs just in case he don't want to come downstairs. Yeah, I do spoil the crap out of my island. So he got a, he's going he's gonna to get everything hooked up up there. And we got a stack up on his cat treats and all that stuff. So we have the little pantry set up for him. That's for sitting up for taco. As I said, sometimes the animal chooses you. You can't choose the animal. I was talking to the guy. I told you the guy walked by. He had a nice white pit bull. Beautiful dog. Beautiful white pit bull. I got a chance to talk to him a little bit. He was out there. Some people at the end of the day just need people to talk to at the end of the day. And I can see sometimes they go through some rough stuff. And they just need somebody to talk to. I just start conversations with people when they go by. And he was just talking to me about he had some hardships that came up. Back out, hurt, lost his job, stuff like that. Just need somebody to talk to at the end of the day. That's all. I ain't got time. I ain't doing anything in between here and there. You know what I mean? I got time to spare. So you know, some people just need that. So, you know, I have a conversation. I meet a new friend at the end of the day, you know. And the dog was cool as I don't know what. The dog was rolling over and everything. He was not a vicious animal. But he was telling me, he, dog, dog, one of his dogs, he had a dog that passed away. He was real close to him, passed away. And he was out in the park and this dog just walked up to him. It was a white dog. He had a white pit bull. It wasn't chipped or any of that. Just walked up to him. And he was kind of afraid at first. He's a pretty good sized dog. But he started playing with the dog, and the dog likes him. And, and, and there it is. They became friends. And, you know, that's amazing. I said, well, at the end of the day, that you didn't choose the dog. The dog chose you. So he could have came to anybody he wanted to, but he came to you. So it was meant to be. Like for me, I wanted to get a small dog. I was actually considering, I didn't want a big dog. I can't have a big dog in here. They're too big. I mean, big dog is a destructive animal. I mean, not saying that they're, yeah, they're a destructive animal at the end of the day. They were big. They need a lot of room, a lot of space. They do. I got the backyard for it, but inside the house, that dog wouldn't have, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me to live a normal life because I got so much stuff in the house, you know what I mean, for him to wreck. So I was thinking about getting a smaller dog, but I didn't know about that yet. I didn't know how the hair was going to disrupt with my freaking breathing and all that. So it was questionable. And I had a few people offer to give me a few animals, but I was like, no, nah, I don't know yet. I don't know if I can talk to a doctor how this stuff's going to react. I don't want to get an animal in here and then I have to surrender it because it's making me sick. You know, so I just had to wait on it. And then that day happened. I was just sitting there having a conversation with my uh, my male lady and Taco walked right in between her legs. And she's like, that your cat? And I was like, no. And he sat right down the middle of the floor and belted out of me out. And I looked at him and I said, well, I guess you're staying. And that wasn't easy the first time around because... 
anxieties kicked triggered off and you know i felt like i couldn't breathe and all that stuff like that i thought the cat was triggering it wasn't it was just basically my uh own anxieties triggering off and then i thought the cat belonged to somebody else maybe i was taking somebody's pet and i felt bad about that so i left the door open i let the cat go a couple of times and it kept coming back it kept coming back and then i asked around to some of the locals in the neighborhood that pretty much know everything in the neighborhood I was like yo anybody owns this cat and they're like no so after that uh Taco uh, got the name Taku. Actually, the name was Kitty Kaboom because I thought it was a female, like I said, because it was small. And uh, one day we're sitting there watching Netflix. And cat rolled over and I was like, oh, you're a dude. So he got the name Taku, which was over a Japanese anime, but ended up to be Taco in the end. And then one of my Dominican friends said, well, he needs a last name because he can't be Dominican if he ain't got the whole freaking name. They gave him like five names in there somewhere. So his full name is supposed to be uh some taco jose um uh de Nero bird it's it's crazy so they started all that so he's got all kinds of nicknames i mean the woman, the woman in the dr because he sleeps in these weird positions you ever seen his cat doesn't sleep normal he has these weird positions that he sleeps in that they call him a yoga cat baby um taco he's got a bunch of nicknames on our facebook that they call the cat but anyway um yeah that's how it was and yeah, he's been this way ever since he doesn't he's like i said i've had cats before tear stuff up in the house i got leather couches in here he doesn't scratch them up doesn't tear them up. he goes straight to the pole the minute i bought him the pole boom he went right to the pole i was like okay cool because my main concern was from tearing up my furniture he doesn't climb up on stuff once in a blue moon a rare blue moon i might catch him someplace he's not supposed to be at and if i tell him no he doesn't go back up there again so it was meant to be Never a little discussions here and there, but it was meant to be, Mr. Taco. So when he when I got him and everything was good and I got rid of the anxieties and nobody owned him, we went right online. We bought the good cat food, water dishes, flea collars, toys, 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 more toys, more toys. And we had Taco Land downstairs. And I had my own arcade in the next room. I was gonna hook that place up over there. I said, you know what? I don't need this. I got enough room. I'm gonna give you your own room. So that's what I did. That's how he got his own room. Took all that stuff, tore the room out, took everything out, stripped all my lights out, and it became Taco Land. So, yep. Now, when I move and get my four acres, I'm getting two opacas. Yes, you heard me. That's what I'm getting. Two of them. I'm definitely getting two of them. I haven't decided the names for me yet, but I'm getting two of them. I love those animals. I was going to get a llama, but I found that them suckers will spit in your face. Like, I mean, llamas will spit in your face. <laughs> so... I mean, out of all the animals in the, in the animal kingdom, that's an animal that does not like people. He will spit in your... And every day, he's chewing up, spit to spit in your face. Like, you can't see that coming. I, I like watching those t uh, videos where people just get attacked by llamas. And llamas just spit right on them. But I was going to call him Mr. Spit in your face. Literally, that was, I was going to get a llama first. I was going to get a llama, get a alpaca. They're a little bit more gentle creatures. I mean, at the end of the day, they will spit in your face. But... You have a lesser chance of getting spit in the face by one of them than a llama. A llama will literally, and that and a camel will spit on you. So I was going to call the llama Mr. Spit in Your Face. Because at the end of the day, you know, and I'm down there and people will sue you for over the dumbest stuff. And say someone goes out there to where the llama's at. We have several gates up there, you know, warning llama, so and so and so. And this idiot decides to climb over there because he wants to get a selfie. People do dumb stuff with a llama. And this llama spits in his face. And he sits around and says, well, you know, with well, the warning signs were there. And what's the name of the llama? The llama's name is Mr. Spit in Your Face. Like you couldn't couldn't figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, but no. Nah, I, I don't think I could deal with a llama spitting in my face, but I like the opaque because I like them. I just copied this multiple times, didn't I, people? Yeah, you can tell I'm getting tired. All right, let's go over here, see where we're going to land this one at. Um, we're going to land this one over, I think we should be over here on the channel. And this one, these are all the mixes, everything you need to make. It's right there, you know, everything I discussed, all of it in there. Let's go over here. Uh, let me see. Um, I think we're going to have to go in and basically refresh on this one. Yeah, I don't know the story how me and Crow met, do you? It was a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. This is when Crow made free screen paint. I know a lot about Crow. This is when Crow made free screen paint. At the time, we weren't even really scouring the internet looking for competition. We really wasn't. We were just making great screen paint. That's it. We didn't care about anybody else. You know, everybody was doing their own thing, so who cared? But we bumped into Crow um, many years back. Uh, this is where he was giving the products away for free. Um, and... Um, we got to, he contacted us through, um, through YouTube. 
came on my channel and he wanted to know what was in our ingredients, what was in our products. And we told him, oh, we don't do that. We don't share our ingredients back and forth. Because, yeah, some people did share information back and forth and some people didn't. This is a business. We were selling our products. He got bothered by that. He got upset over that. He really got bothered over that because we turned him down. He got upset over that. And then that's when he started doing some little, he did little slander things here and there. But we didn't pay him any mind. And then he started doing more dumber stuff and dumber stuff. And then he started saying, well, you know, saving you hundreds. That's where all that got started from, saving you hundreds and stuff like that. You know, you know, we give our products out for free. You know, when he sells his products and his products are just the same as mine, that's where it started from. There you go. Now you know where that little slogan came in from. And then eventually, we basically started doing side-by-side -side demonstrations. We bought his product, had it down here. This is where we ever get access to his product, had it down here, and found out that that stuff didn't do what it was supposed to do. Not even under our standard, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Because he wasn't doing a lot of the demonstrations that we were doing, like having lights on and stuff like that. But anyway, long story short, he started selling his product. And um, so... We, by then, we, around, we hit around 2015 or 2014 or 2015. That's when we came in contact with Black Diamond. That's where I separated from the original contract. That's where I started developing the company under Digital 4K uh, Crystal Onyx. And we started developing Black Technology. And then that's where he started trying to um, zone in on our Black Technology by saying, oh, it's not this and not that. Yeah, we, we've known Crow a while back. A while, while back. That was nothing new. But as you can see, everything came full circle now. Because now we're developing black technology and the old stuff we used to make, we give that away for free, which you have right now. And now he has to, he can't sell his product. Because, and again, no one's gonna buy it. And if they do buy it, at the end of the day, they're gonna pop up and see one of these videos and they're gonna start thinking like, wait a minute, did he, did he do it? This guy's asking him to do these demonstrations. And then they go back into his channel, find out none of these demonstrations are done. He's been avoiding these at all costs. They're going to start asking for their money back. Because you can't back the product. Especially when they can go in here and make all these ingredients for free. So let me show you what you got in here in this huge, massive amount. Now this is the, all the information we put up at the top. So you can see all that. We put it from the top. That is the Cinemax Complete. We made those are the lighter screen paints. I told you about the ones with that one teaspoon of black paint in there. Right there. Over here we have, let me see, the ingredients for the... Digimon Crystal Screen Paint, but if you go to the website, we got five of them and they're waiting for you. Um, this is the Digimon One Crystal Ice, yeah, 2.9. There it is right there. Toe table spins of silver. That's one I told you about in the video. You want to spend a lot more lighter. This one right here will do it for you. This is a YouTuber who posted his ingredient also too. Check out his video, it's fantastic. He shows you how to make his screen paint version too, using black, bare, silver screen, and some um, silver. Same thing, same thing. Here's another person who slammed Crow. I told you about when I told you from the door that all products work perfectly fine until they hit Crow's area. The minute they hit Crow's area, the products don't work anymore. This is a fellow who snapped on Crow about how he went in and he basically falsified a demonstration and the guy called him out on it. Um, this right here is the free Metallica mix. Oh, free um, uh, do it yourself mix. This is the video showing Crow making the black and white paint products. The video he deleted from his account that you can't find anymore. There is the ingredients for the UV mix. There is the ingredients for the Metallica mix. There is the ingredients for the personal mix. And at the bottom, we have the website that you can go to for the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint throwbacks for free. You can make the products as much as you want. Enjoy yourself. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna crash and burn, get some sleep. I gotta be up in a few minutes anyway because I still have more work to do. And I gotta get my tracking and results to the rest of my customers so they're all taken care of. All right, gotta go. God bless and enjoy.